Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Downhill Mayhem map. Welcome back to some more flinging cars down an incredibly steep hill and seeing what might possibly survive. It's great fun, honestly. It's a huge amount of fun. We are, uh, we played this map a few weeks ago. It's an awesome map. And today we are going to be, well, trying out some of the different lanes, probably going back to some of the favourites, and just generally seeing what might occur. Uh, this is the first route that we are tackling. One of these, one of these kind of slightly narrower lanes. It's got some real hazards to deal with uh, that we are inevitably going to smash cars in. This, this has got mud pits and jumps and walls and checkerboards and all sorts of things. Now, the way that this works, in case you have not seen one of these before, it is very simple. We will be driving vehicles of some description. There will often be a theme. For this first one, we've kind of got more entry-level sports cars. We've got a couple of Wendovers. We've got a more standard Sunburst. We've got a, a kind of more entry-level ETK. I've got the Pavilion over here. Um, and we are going to trace them down the hill. First one to the bottom wins. However, there is a catch. Your car has to be in a drivable condition when it gets to the bottom. So, has to be able to put power down, has to be able to have steering. So it's a risk versus reward thing. You can try and go really fast, but if your car disintegrates and ends up as a ball of metal, you will not win. So, yeah, it's a competition to... <laughs> oh, well, yeah, just keep your car alive while getting to the bottom as fast as possible. And, of course, many obstacles, lots of speed, big crashes, it's on beam, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, that's the hope, at least. It normally is, anyway. Uh, still loading. Thank you very much for the donation. Uh, Say hello. How's your day going? Oh, well, my day has not been too bad, thank you. I hope yours has been good. I accidentally... I say accident. I started playing Satisfactory again. That was a silly idea. Many hours will be wasted playing that one. And I was watching Parks and Rec while doing a bit of editing. That's basically been my day. It's not been the most exciting day, I will be honest. But it wasn't a bad day, per se. Uh, also, Drake, thank you very much for the action. Uh, so, Limerick to begin the stream. Uh, da dashing down hills in very sporty fast cars. Alex and friends give us fun as the stream's big stars. But Lado was laughing as Gliska did some passing and Speed Beast got launched on his way to Mars. <laughs> that is possible. On <laughs> that is possible on this route. We may well, in fact, Speed Beast did fling the car off one of the ramps in a testing run before the stream started. So, yeah, that may well be quite accurate. May well be quite accurate. Uh, so, we might have... I think Lado's going to join us later on. Um... There is, uh, yeah, we have more people dropping in and out as we go. We've got five of us to be starting uh, this one. Shall we go and see how this might all fare? Also, do give me a shout uh, in regards to the volume levels. I think it should be okay, but uh, do let me know if the game is too loud or too quiet. We can adjust that stuff. Uh, we are off. Oh, and the other rule, the other rule that I didn't mention is you are allowed to bump and spin and generally cause grief for the uh, other people in this. Yes, you, you are allowed to do that. Uh, <laughs> you've got to be careful, though, because if you start a vendetta early on, you might have a tough time. Oh, well, I've already lost my exhaust. Oil Pan don't care about Speed Beast. is having a big accident. And Speed Beast is into a different arena uh, with help Brazen. Oh, I've lost drive. I think I'm basically out of this now. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Uh, we did also add the rule in that you're not allowed to just sit on the grass. Oh, Brazen's on fire. Uh, oh, crap. I've got very little steering. I definitely can't put power down. My steering's having issues. Amy's car's spinning. We're spinning. Amy's had a very big accident. Uh... Now, if no one's car makes it to the bottom in a drivable condition, it is whoever's piece of metal gets to the bottom first will win. Brazen is not making it. Okay, my car doesn't drive. Brazen's out. Brazen <laughs> Brazen's car is very dead. Amy is going to win the first round. We are going to make it to the bottom. <laughs> we might have flung the car. Uh, it doesn't matter. Amy's car is drivable. Brazen has indeed become small. Uh... <laughs> So we're out. We don't have a drivable car. I can't put power down. My steering does work, but the half shafts are not strong enough. 
Uh, it looks like a AB wins. Longbow gets second because that car is still more drivable than we are. Brazen. <laughs> that's, a, that's a poorly car. Jeez, that Wendover had a bad day right there. Um, <laughs> ouch. Oh, and Speedy, well, Speedy's car has surprisingly recovered. It is stuck on the wall, but it has recovered. Oh, dear. Uh, Delboy, thank you very much for the donation, saying, can we run a three-wheeler round? Um, not the pigeon, not the pigeon or widgeon or whatever the thing called, though. I don't think we have any other three-wheeled option. I guess you could... Okay, you know what? We will do that next. I will explain how that works when we get to it. For the moment, we're running the sports car round. Um... Uh, Scout, thank you very much for the super chat. <laughs> Just saying, lol, poor Brayson. Brayson's death was quite... I think Amy's gone up and rescued Brayson. It was a good, spectacular death. The cube of metal. Well, the cube of metal is going to make it to the bottom. Technically, all of us will make it to the bottom. Well, it had some help. But yeah, all five cars have made it to the bottom in varying states of damage. So Amy's is actually quite good condition. Longbow's isn't bad. Speed Beast is a mess. Mine is actually good condition, but undrivable, and Brazen's is a cube. Not even a very good cube. It's one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six sides, maybe? <laughs> um, yeah, let's go and reset. Let's get everyone back up at the to <laughs> top. Right, so I try, I had a theory. I had a theory. And that was to try and be a little bit more careful. And then everyone started overtaking me, so I put my foot down, and then everything broke. I don't think the half shafts are strong enough on this car. That's my concern. We might have to start going really slowly to try and keep our car alive. Um, we shall see. Um, we shall We shall see. Oh, Map Crater is, is in chat. Uh, yeah, Spiele has done some awesome, made some awesome maps. This, yeah, this downhill mayhem map. I actually meant to put it a link. I will have a link in the description when this is a vod. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to do it. Sorry. This is an awesome map. You can find it on the Beam uh, repo now. It's fantastic. It's called Downhill Mayhem, but yeah, there will be a link in the description. Uh, really do recommend you check it out. It's a. Th there's been various um, kind of this style of map in the past. Spiele's made a few of them. I've seen a few of them around. This is by far and away the best. There's so many options. It's very cool. Uh, Let's go and run another race. Let's try and do our best here. We're going to try and do our best to uh, not have a tremendous shunt. Uh, actually, it's it's to try and keep my car in one piece is the goal. I don't have much luck at that one. I mean, I'm temp no, I'm not going to do it. There's a temptation to try and take out the sunburst because Amy won the first round. And, you know, we can't have someone winning all the rounds. Don't care about the oil pack damage. That's not significant to me. Uh, I'm going to try something. I'm trying what Bra Brazen's had a similar idea to me. I've lost the back end. We're going way too fast. Nope. Doesn't work. No oh, beans. <laughs> okay. I lost the back end under braking. My car is going to... I'm going to go see what's happening with the race because I'm out. Uh, it looks like Speed Beast is having a good run up ahead. If that doesn't... Oh, it's lost a wheel over the checkerboard. Uh, cars are going very fast. It is quite difficult to keep up with everything. Uh, however, Speed Beast had a tremendous shunt, but provided that can avoid everything, which it does, it bounces off the wall. A bit of Brazen's car has ended up in the other track. I mean, Speed Beast has come to a stop. I don't know if that... Well, I don't know if either of those cars are still actually drivable. I don't think Brazen's is somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, yeah, if Speedy's car could move, that would have been moving by now. Is Amy's car in one piece? It looks like it might be. Technically crossed the line in third, but it might be the only drivable car here. It is. Longbow's car has come to a rest. My car is, uh, has also come to a rest. It's upside down on its roof. Uh, oh, my car actually cleared a mud pit on its roof. Surprised. Yeah. That didn't work. It was it was an idea. It was worth a try. I think that could work, but I lost the back end under braking, and we just couldn't gather it back up. The sunburst wins again. This will you know what's going to happen. Whether I'm the one that does it or whether someone else is the one that does it, but we know what's going to happen. We know what's going to happen. Uh, 
Right, I guess we are going to go and, and reset and try again. This will not do. This I don't think my car is very strong for this, but never mind. Uh, Yeet Mukskeet, thank you very much for the super chat. So always been a big fan of your content. Keep it up. Ah, oh, well, thank you very much indeed. It is uh, is greatly appreciated. Always glad to hear. I hope you will enjoy this uh, wacky, wacky stream that is inevitably inevitably going to happen. Speed Beast is doing a big old burnout, which I won't, wouldn't be able to do. Oh, wait, I'm not in a gear. Can I do... No, I don't know if I have enough power. Can I... I can kind of do a front wheel burnout. <laughs> okay, yeah, we've got the burnout going on. There we go. Just hold the handbrake. Kind of do a little bit of a burnout. It's not quite as impressive as the, as the Wendover. I don't know why I thought the window was front wheel drive. I just presumed that it was. Uh, right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's try. I just want to get down to the bottom in one piece with a working car, whether I win or not. I just want to make it to the bottom. <laughs> Amy, Amy knows what uh, what the game was probably going to be. Whether, I mean, someone is likely, someone's going to make it down in a working car. Okay, this is going to be the case. It's just how fast it's... <laughs> no! Ah, uh, crap. Well, we might not break the front drive shaft. Oh, for the first time, we've gone through the mud pit. Ah, uh, oh, crap. Did not do a J-turn how I wanted it to. The engine is starved of oil. But, most importantly, the half shafts are actually in one piece. I mean, the back of my car is not in one piece anymore. Somebody has to stop a sunburst. The sunburst was very successful at stopping me. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh, well, I'm going to hit that. Okay, I've lost a tyre. That's less than ideal, and now I'm going quite fast, and my brakes aren't really enough to stop us. Oh, for God's sake. The <laughs> half shafts in this are just made of plastic, I think. <laughs> it's no good. Okay, my car choice was poor. My car choice was poor. I mean, there's a chance we might... Oh, nope. Nope, now I have... Oh, I have very little... Oh, well, Amy's not one, at least. I have very little steering here. Hey, we've made it to the bottom! <laughs> I, I don't have much steering or much braking. Speed these cars definitely still works. Uh, there is... Uh, I, I have gained Longbow's bumper. Speedbeast's car very definitely works. Longbow's car does also seem to work. I don't actually know who got down there before. Uh, <laughs> however, <laughs> we did... A, yeah, that is... That is not the best of cars. Um, Amy has made... It's not quite as compact as Brazen's car, but that's a big hit on the sunburst. I don't know if anybody assisted in that hit or whether it ended up there on its own, but uh, that was a big shunt indeed. This is a fun route. Actually, it's definitely a challenging route. Quite a lot of cars make it to the bottom, but a lot of them are in very, very poor conditions. That is for sure. Hmm. Now, there we are. Longbow did a roll along the way. Always good. Always, always what you want in a fail race video. Are they pushing... I think they're trying to push Amy's car free. It looks like they might have got it. Uh, there we go. It has got free. We're going to have another round with all cars technically at the bottom. I mean, a bit unceremoniously dumped at the bottom. And it, oh, it's back on its wheels. But there we go. <laughs> well, the, uh, the basic sports car round has ended. The Sunburst, probably the best one, really... From all of this. The 800 series, not too bad. Uh, the Wendovers, oh, Brazen blew the engine up doing 50,000 up. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, don't get a pivot. That's terrible. It looks cool, but it is terrible for this contest. So, there we go. Um, Killer Robot, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, hello, Alex and chat. I have a request of sending down a selection of drift spec vehicles. Ah, well, that can definitely go on the on the list, absolutely. Uh, however, our next round, so this was this was the request. Okay, we are going to send down three-wheeled vehicles. However, they are not allowed to be a widget or a P1. 
pigeon. Which I believe means I'm going, we're going to have to take a wheel off. Ah, there's a question. Can you actually... Okay, they might have a slight problem with this. I don't know whether you can take an individual wheel off. Because I know you can take off front or rear wheels. I don't know whether... No, ah, okay, we can't do that. So, for example, yeah, if I go empty, it'll only become... Yeah, I can't take off individual wheels. Oh, damn it, I thought we could. That, oh, that's going to be an interesting challenge, trying to build them. I apologise, we cannot do that one. That one does not work, because uh, I can't take off an individual wheel. And we don't have any mods for any other three-wheeled vehicles on this one, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, I was going to be curious to see how, because your vehicle choice could be important and all of that kind of thing, but it doesn't really work. Uh, so... We will, we will go with the drift spec cars. Let's go with some drift cars down here. Uh, most of... Most vehicles have a drift spec one way or another. Uh, I don't know what I want for a drift spec car. Is there a drift spec one of these? No, there's only a hill car. One. Problem is, of course, the drift spec cars are going to be very, very low to the ground. Which... Isn't great. There might be a new K series. Um... Ooh. Don't know whether this is a good shout or not, to be honest with you. Um, we, we will uh, contemplate. Yeah, all of the drift spec cars are going to be super low. So that is the problem. Jumping through the mud is going to be a problem. Brazen has had a similar idea. I mean, as far as... So we've got lots of power in this and lots of steering lock. Is lots of steering lock good? I don't know. Is lots of steering lock going to be good on this? I feel like it's just asking for the front wheels to snap off. But uh, we shall inevitably see. Uh, boom, thank you very much for the donation. There wasn't a message with it, but uh, much appreciated indeed. We are loading in uh, the other vehicles. Oh, I think some have gone down here. Has Brazen got a drift estate car? Yep. <laughs> uh, that's Hey, well, we've got to have the ETKs. I, pre I approve of the mighty wing. There's a truck in here. If any of these make it, I'll actually be quite surprised. They will have quite good brakes, I think, so they should be able to slow down for some of the hazards. Uh, Longbow has a drift van. <laughs> and you've got a bit more, although the wheels on the van are, that's, that's ridiculous. Those are the smallest wheels I think I've ever seen on a van. <laughs> okay, we've got a Bastion. A K-series, an 800 series, a van, and a D-series. The chances of any of these vehicles making it to the bottom are slim. I'm going to go with that they are pretty damn small. We're going to, of course, try our very best here. But I will be amazed if more than one really makes it. Because... Uh, yeah, the <laughs> cars are too low. They do not have the suspension to deal with this. And I'm worried about the steering. They are race cars. Um, so... Uh, they might be... They might, they've got roll cages. They might be slightly stronger in some ways. That's the hope. That's a really, really big hope, is that there might be some strength in these cars that a normal car doesn't have being a race car, but let's wait and see, shall we? Uh, we are off and underway immediately, kind of chasing Brazen. Of course, everything will be rear-wheel drive here, being drift cars. They will not have the tyres for the dirt. That is a problem part. But me and Brazen are going for it, and others are not, it is safe to say. Uh, I have not broken my oil pan. Brazen played that one incredibly brave with the ramp. The van is approaching rapidly. Brazen's losing control up ahead. The, oh, my engine has stalled. Uh, can I get my engine to fire back up again? Oh, my fuel tank is gone. 
Okay, oh, my engine did a million RPM. That's not great for it. Oil pan's damaged, don't care. Oh, I'm losing control. I'm heading towards... Oh, one of the big spikes. Okay, well, we've got to try and... Uh, worried about a fuel tank. Okay, is this the last? I think that's the last of the pits. K-Series don't disintegrate here. Okay, now it's just boot it and hope. And I'm actually going to slow down because this sudden flattening could break my car. We are to the bottom. I have fully functioning steering, and before we run out of fuel, I do still have drive. We are victorious! We beat the van! Surprisingly, the K-Series did good. The K-Series did really good. Can the van- oh, the van's not moving. The, the van's engines come out the bottom of the gear- oh, that's bad. <laughs> Longbow, your gearbox has come out of the bonnet. That's uh, that's not supposed to. I mean, out of, I'm out of fuel. I've stopped working. How? How is your gearbox? <laughs> your gearbox is pointing at the sky. <laughs> Think, if your gearbox is angled at the sky, things have gone very badly wrong. <laughs> that is quite impressive. Honestly. That is quite impressive for the van. Speed Beast has disintegrated the truck. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's hit something very hard. Brazen has also smashed up the uh, 800 series. It's in better condition in some ways. But yeah, that's had a big wreck. And where has Amy ended up? Uh, oh, Amy has actually made it to the bottom. There we go. And um, Amy's car has got there. Although it has... Suspiciously no damage, which makes you think it might have reset at some point. Um, so, yeah. Either way, the K-Series actually gets a victory. Made it in outside of the fuel tank. No damage, really. Lost a bumper, but nothing significant. Um, <laughs> I'll take it. And it doesn't matter. We got to the bottom, but it was working at the time we got to the bottom. If, if it runs out of fuel afterwards, it doesn't matter um, on that front. So, yeah, it did make it. Okay. That was... Uh, that was quite the run. <laughs> Speed is always the solution. Of course it is. Oh, I didn't think Amy reset. I thought it might have got to... Uh, oh, Amy went very slowly down there. Ah, okay. I thought the game might have... I assume you hadn't intentionally reset it. I, I thought the game might have acted like that. It's crash and reset it. Okay, so Amy just took it very sensibly down the course. Um, which, I mean, we're technically second place for Amy <laughs> on that one. So, you know. Ah. Uh, Scout, uh, thank you very much for the donation. Saying that van should be put on a podium or something. The ah, oh yes, the fail race, the vehicle hall of fame. Uh, the the van is very uh, deserving of that. I've, I've seen silly things. Engines have fallen out of cars, but I don't think I've ever had that one happen before. Um, so yeah, quite impressive from Longbow right there. Uh, let's go and run this one again. I mean. We can go here. We can go down this one quite fast, as it turned out. Um, Brazen, we know, is going to send it. The K-Series, we know, it can actually hold up pretty well down here. So I'm keen to go. Uh, not as far... I'm not going to go as fast as Brazen. But we know we can get away with some speed. Don't care. Oh, Brazen's going to... Well, Brazen has absolutely launched the 800 Series. The van is trying to overtake. Oh, God. Our vehicle's not connected. I've lost the fuel tank again. We are going to have to... Okay, Brazen's out of it. We're going to have to push it against the van. Right, now it's just going to be a bat... Uh oh I'm losing control of my car. We're about to... Yeah, we're done. No, we're not done. Yes, we're done. We're heading sideways towards the checkerboard. I mean, we've lost the fuel tank. We haven't lost drive. A wheel has come soaring past. I'm going to guess from Brazen's. Oh, Amy is going to... Amy's desperately trying to overtake us. It's now a rate. No! Amy gets us. We have to send off a third. Our car does work. Considering the size of the crash we had, the fact that I still have a working... Mostly working car. It's quite good going. The fuel tank will drop us out, though. It's third place for us. Brazen's tremendous launch. Uh, uh, of that bit of concrete was impressive, but uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, we tr we tried to battle with Lombo, and we just lost out in the uh, 
in in the duel on that. Amy's car is pretty heavily damaged, but uh, I think that does still work too. Um, and in well, those are out. Brazen's 800 series has been chopped a lot, and Speed Beast's truck is missing almost all of its wheels. <laughs> But yeah, Longbow will claim a victory in this round. It is... It's a podium. It's a podium for us, yes. No shenanigans, definitely. No shenanigans occur. To be fair, I was pushing the van a fair bit as well. So... <laughs> there, there may have been shenanigans from us as well, and it may well have been um, karma that ended up with me having a big wreck. Well, I think just the van is, is quick. The van is strong across these, whereas my car has, a, well, it's a sports car at the end of the day. So, yeah. We will teleport back up here. We will try again. Uh, before we do, I'll just read a couple of donations. Delboy, thank you for the donation. I say, okay, from my son. You request emergency vehicles. Ah, we can definitely do emergency vehicles up next. Amy will be happy to hear that. Um, <laughs> Caleb, thank you for the donation. I say, I'd like to request a front-wheel drive only round. Uh, okay, we can add that to the list. Uh, Walter, thank you for the donation. Uh, saying happy Friday to you and the crew. Uh, my request is a longbow special round. Only bow lights or other mid-engine cars. Uh, unrelated question. Do any cars split apart in multiplayer? Yes. Bow, the bow light and the scintilla, the two mid-engine cars. Oh yeah, and on this route they're likely to go. Yeah, that'll be a fun round. That will be a fun round indeed. Uh, Patrick Long, thank you very much. Well, they were for two donations, actually, uh, in this, that, uh, uh, they're the same. Uh, I don't know if you intended to donate twice, but anyway, basically, they came over a run where Alex uses a car and gets a head start, and the rest use trucks to chase him down and destroy his car. We can definitely try that one. It'll be a, it'll be a little bit, it'll be a little while while we go through all the lists. Uh, go through all this request and so on. But uh, yeah, we can absolutely have a go with that. I'm sure the crew will be happy to oblige. Uh, Racing Revel, thank you for the super chat as well. Saying, do the D-Series. Any configurations, but all with the smallest tyres you can put on it. <laughs> that sounds wacky and I like it. Uh, okay, that too can go on the list. Yeah, don't worry about Brazen and Amy trying to push each other down the hill. And I'm just going to start a race and they can sort themselves out pretty much. Uh... <laughs> Right, onwards, onwards we go. Right, launch this into the uh, onto the course. I mean, I've got to send it. We know, so we know the van is strong. I'm slight. Oh, you see, I don't want to hit this as hard as the van wants to hit it. Uh, okay, I think we're gonna have to. Oh no, I'm heading towards the jump. Don't hit that. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, I've got my car back under control again. Speed Beast is absolutely sent it. Speed Beast has murdered Amy. Oh, there's a big crash up ahead. I've just got I'm just fighting to get my vehicle under control this time. There's a gap to aim for. It looks like Longbow's gonna win this one. We might end up in second if I can get my vehicle. Oh Brazen! Oh! Brazen with a tremendous death. Right there, Brazen is out. Brazen is a goner. Longbow. Can we make up some time over here? I mean, we've got top speed, but we're not going to be able to catch Longbow. Longbow's going to win it again. Yeah, we just cannot carry the speed over the mud pits. Uh, oh, Amy's game got broken. <laughs> speed, he's killed her. We will cross the line. It's the second place for us. Yeah, I, 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 I think Long, the van was the best. K-Series probably second best. The fuel tank was a bit weak. But it, it survived, because I mean, we were pushing hard at the end. Uh, it survived quite well. Speed Beast's truck's a mess. Amy's game broke and break. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no, Brayson. What have you done to that poor 800 series? That Oh, you've twisted that in a way that should not... Yeah, that shouldn't go like that. Uh... <laughs> Uh, oh, your gearbox is pointing, yeah, not not at the angle it was intended at. That's that's for sure. That is a big smash. Yeah, I mean, it was, we were desperately trying to chase down that 800 series when we realised it overtook us, and yeah, when you lose control with these cars, it's so difficult to get it. If I hadn't had a massive wobble, we might have been able to challenge Longbow, although I suspect Longbow might have been taking it slightly easier further down. 
uh, when they knew they were clear, essentially. But yeah, Brazen so far has the funniest shape cars around the place. Um, Lombo is going to win that round. I think it's a second place, though, for the K-Series, which I'm happy about. Uh, outside, outside of the weak fuel tank, yeah, actually very, very good for this. Weirdly, who would have thought? Oh, didn't mean to press that button. We will cycle back to our car. So, this next round, folks, it is going to be emergency vehicles. So, fire department stuff, police cars, or ambulances. Up to you, what you would like. I don't know what the hell I'm going to drive. But, uh, we shall see. Uh, right. Donations. 4327. Thank you for all the donations. Say, hey, Alex, could you do a bus slash truck round? Frame rate permitting. We can. We can indeed. Uh, killer robot. Thank you for all the donations. Uh, saying you can also add this to the list of things to throw down the hill. A round where Amy gets to choose the vehicle slash cars of vehicle. It's going to be bloody Piccolinas, isn't it? Uh, I can almost guarantee you. However, uh, we can. And uh, false program. Thank you for the donation. Saying maybe do something with real off road cars. I think of the June buggy or trophy trucks. Okay. Okay. We can definitely have a look. And we've also got the gravel. Uh, the, the, the Gavril Legroma, which will probably get used for that. Uh, actually, is there an ambulance version of this? No. Uh, right. So we don't have the fire truck mod installed anymore. We do have fire department things. I mean, do you go for okay, go for the ambulance? Uh, I don't know. I don't, don't know if that's what we want. Okay, we can go for a police car, but I don't think we want a car in some ways. It's difficult. I could get something sensible. We could get, like, a park ranger Roma. A uh, Hopper could get, you know, the fire marshal. Ooh. Ooh, that might be a good shout. Because the problem we get is when you start getting tall SUVs, they fall over. When you get low slung police cars, they disintegrate. This might be a good shout. Hmm. Okay. Will. I'm just gonna go. Oh. Let's go and load to see what other stuff is. This could work. Uh, Hawk, uh, thank you very much for the super chat. I say, would love to see a round with the hyper bolide if it is possible. I am I'm afraid it is not able to be used. That bolide is uh, on my game, it's not on the server. Uh, so, unfortunately, it cannot be used for this. Um, so, yeah, that is not available for this. Okay. We have interesting choices going on here. Lombo has a Grand Marshal Coupe. It's basically a shortened Grand Marshal police car. Brazen has a Wendover police car. Amy has the Pick a Leader police car. Speed Beast has a van. And I have gone for the fire department the Gron. I mean, my, my hope here is that I'm not very fast, but I... I have the suspension to deal with the bumps quite nicely. Might be the worst idea ever. But I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen. Place your bets, the uh, wonderful folks of chat. I, the van's probably going to be good. That's that's that that's what my my gut feeling is. Um, oh, Bra Brayson has one thousand two hundred and eighty-one government-issued horsepowers. That's too many horsepowers. I know what Brayson's going to do, and that is have a very big crash at some point. Because that much of the Piccolina's off. No, I, I'm not very fast off the line. I feel like my hundred and fifty, hundred and thirty governmental-issued horsepowers is not very much. I'm slightly worried. Uh, well, I'm also slightly tempted to go and take out the Piccolina. But, you know, actually, the Piccolina's had a crash on its own. Brazen's absolutely sent the Wendover into all sorts of trouble up ahead. Lado, thank you for the super chat. 
saying contracts on Brazen. Well, if I can catch Brazen, then sure. I've got to... Oh, no! I, well, I've been spun, but I have also lost the drive shaft, I think. I might have still driving the front wheels. Uh, I, I thought Brazen's vehicle had flown and disintegrated, but I might be wrong. It might actually still be in one piece. Uh, oh, I'm just trying to keep the power down in the Legrand. It's not going to matter, though. Speed Beast, well, Speed Beast has had a massive crash after the finish line. Brazen has won. I do still drive very slowly as a front-wheel drive. Now, I, don't, I think Speed Beast might have broken down after the finish line at this point, or on the finish line, which... I think if you disintegrate your car crashing into the, f the floor at the end, I think that still counts as a disabled. Um, I think Brazen might... Does Brazen have a working car, or is it just stuck in the sand? That is the question. Speed Beast can't seem to move. Brazen did move, but has now stopped. I don't know whether that was a fuel tank rupture, though. Uh, we will have to wait in here. I still have a fully functioning car. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, Okay. Brazen did lose a fuel tank, uh, but it, wa it was moving uh, when it got to the bottom, <laughs> and Amy's turned up with a Piccolina. <laughs> uh, Lombo's car is having a sleep. Lombo, what happened? Oh, dear. Well, I I'll tell you what. Those wheels are not at an angle that is conducive for good steering. However... There we go. That is that. Um... Now, Brazen wins with the fuel tank. If, if it's the fuel tank fail, it doesn't count. Because um, it was working when it hit the bottom. Uh, Speed Beast's massive accident did take the van out. But it was still a good run for the van. Just got to be a little bit slower on the crossing the finish line. And yeah, Amy's car is still technically working. But came home. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll be a third place. Okay, I'm actually quite pleased with the Legron. The, the Legrand has legit was actually quite a good shout in terms of uh, it's it's very good at surviving. That's that's my, the main strength here. Now Lado did give us a, a a contract to try and take out Brazen, which we would we will absolutely try and do. But Brazen's car is. So it might have to wait for another round because Brazen's car is so much faster than mine. Brazen has ten times the horsepower we do, pretty much. Uh, that I don't know if I'm even going to be able to get near it, but we will try. Um, we will potentially try uh, this one. We are a go. Okay. I have managed to take out... Well, I didn't really take Brazen out properly. We've managed to have give Brazen a bit of trouble going in a straight line. It wasn't really all that effective truth be told. Uh, so, <laughs> I've just got to hope that these other cars disintegrate themselves, which, I mean, they're doing quite a good job of. Here, Longbow's spinning around. Oh, where is Longbow going to appear? I have no idea on that one. There was just an out-of-control Longbow. Engine's damaged, don't care. Uh, oh, well, never mind. Brazen's had a tremendous accident. Okay. All I have to do now is make sure my car works at the bottom of the course, because Brazen's out of it. Speed Beast's van surprisingly recovered. Uh-oh. I have gained a bit of a bumper. Uh, old car, don't over-rev yourself. What are you doing? Gearbox, change into a gear that is useful. Uh, oh, it's going to be a race between me and Speed Beast. In which Speed Beast is going to win if that still works. As a vehicle that can drive, I don't have much steering either. Can Speed Beast's van drive? Because my car can. Speed Beast's can. Speed Beast wins. The van wins. <laughs> we have to settle for second. Ah, oh, good right. That's probably one of the closest finishes uh, that, uh, uh, that we have had in one of these. Longbow with a massive crash. Uh, Longbow with an absolutely huge shunt. But it looks like they're going to make it. Amy also visited a wall. At some point early on. Lombo is across the line. I mean, <laughs> yeah, is the contract complete? Because, well, Brazen is very much out. <laughs> it wasn't really my fault. I mean, we did crash into Brazen. And then a little while later, Brazen had their own accident. 
I don't know whether that counts, but uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, that was a big shunt. It, w uh, it would have been better if it had managed to land itself in a pothole. I mean, I say pothole, like in one of the craters, but still, still managed to jump to the a different route is quite impressive, not going to lie. Um... <laughs> Everyone else made it to the bottom. Uh, oh, Lombo can possibly move the beach. Yeah, that looks like Lombo. Lombo's still got drive. You can see the wheels spinning. Uh, but uh, Amy's got, Amy has actually got up the... Can we get up the... Here as well? We can. What can climb better up the hill? The Roma or the Piccolina? I mean, we've got more power, but a lot more weight. I'm going to go with... I think the Piccolina can. I think... I think... The Piccolina may be able to go higher than we can. Oh, come on. I mean, we are down at seven miles an hour. <laughs> uh... Oh! <laughs> Sabotage was attempted in this. That Lombo is definitely going to win this contest. Uh, no. No. Oh, Amy, you've broken the front wheel. Well, now definitely sabotage has happened. <laughs> oh, dear. Sabotage has occurred. <laughs> and, well, at least Amy's now fallen further. Oh, I forgot I had low range. Yeah, I did actually forget this had a low range gearbox until it was too late. Um, oh, apparently, Lando said chat can decide whether the contract was complete. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't know if I want this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You've got too much power. <laughs> I mean, I have a plan. This is. Th th this is the plan. <laughs> Where's Longbow? Longbow's still close. We'll see. I just got to do a countdown. Lombo can teleport up to the top, um, hopefully in time for this. So, you have a thousand and so much horsepower. You can, you can. Oh dear. Okay. Well, it, it worked briefly. Ah. <laughs> didn't keep the didn't keep the Legron in a straight line well enough, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I was hoping to leave it in neutral, not to blow my engine up. However, we just spun wildly out of control. I mean, Brazen is in pieces. I was going to go and crash into that, but I mean... Oh, no. Oh, I didn't really hit it to do enough. I was hoping to make it into a funny shape, but instead all we've done is actually rescued Brazen now. Oh, no, I'd say it's still a pretty successful murder. I mean, we will be rear-wheel drive. We are both technically still working. Speedy, Speedy is going to win this round anyway, so I saw an option. I can't steer away. We are, oh. <laughs> well, now I can't know. Amy, all you've done is replaced Brazen as the car that I can't. I can't steer away. I have no steering anymore. <laughs> all Amy's managed to do was save Brazen from the fate. Um... Yeah, I, I can't really get away from the from the wall. I do have drive, but I just don't have. Do I have a front wheel? Can't I can't actually see. Yeah, it was not the most effective of takeouts that one. There, were, I, I saw an opportunity to crash into a stricken brazen, and I took it. I mean, Speed Beast has won. Amy's vehicle is very very broken. We might beat that, <laughs> as it has the world's slowest roll. Lombo is still spinning around. Uh, Grayson has made it to the finish line. Lombo has actually got stuck in front of us. Don't mind me. Well, I'm just going to get through there. We, again, we have rescued another car in the form of Lombo. No, do not let Lombo beat us now, Legron. You are a terrible disappointment. Uh... <laughs> Legron, you, uh, you're going to come not quite last. We are going to beat the Piccolina. 
Oh, Speed Beast is quite broken as well. I mean, we are across the line, immediately into the sand, and immediately stuck. But we got to the bottom. <laughs> oh, and uh, Amy did not. The picker leader found one of the obstacles. Speed Beast's van is a horrific mess as well. Didn't even see why. Yeah, so if I hadn't, if I hadn't gone crashed into Brazen, we could have won that one. But the temptation was there. It had to be done. We crashed into Brazen. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, a silly round. A silly round, indeed. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Lombo had a barely working two-wheeled thing. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful time. Okay. Well. That's, uh... Quite a thing. The emergency vehicles round... I liked the Legrand. It was quite good. It wasn't the best, though. Uh, we'll move on to the next round. So, this was, uh... It's requested by Caleb. Uh, a front wheel drive only round. So you can use what you like, but it must be front wheel drive. What do I want to use for that? Uh, okay, you get Legrands, you get the Charrier, you can get a Covert. Uh, or a Pazima. I feel like a cover is going to be too low. Is that is that front wheel drive? Is the question? Would it be a little bit cheating? Probably, probably. Um, I mean, you can't go wrong with the Chariot. They are quite good. Could go with. I don't know. I don't want sport suspension though. So you don't want these. You don't want. Oh, can't have all-wheel drive. Uh, do we have? I see. But you. The downside is if you go for something with the lower spec one, you won't have the speed for the. Uh, go for a front-wheel drive rally car. It's a little cheeky. You know what? Screw it. We're going to try. We're going to try. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tork, thank you very much for the super chat saying, which country's capital has the fastest growing population? Ireland. Every day it's Dublin. You are going to get a boo from me. <laughs> And from chat, I am sure you're definitely getting a boo from me right there. God dear. That is a terrible pun. A very a very boo-worthy pun right there. Um, but, yeah. Terrible pun. Oh, that's a choice. What the, the hell is that? Apparently everyone's had the same idea. I didn't realise we all had that. Uh, but apparently we do. So, yay for that. I've also managed to break my controller. Oh, crap. <laughs> Hold on, the analog stick's pinged off. Uh, how have I done this? Bear with. Small issues. Uh, yeah, I was just fiddling around with it, and it's managed to unscrew the analog stick. How on earth have I done that? Oh, there we go. Okay, it didn't want to, it. didn't want to. Uh, for some reason, it didn't want to screw back in properly. So it has now been re it has been fixed. I don't have a wobbly. Oh, oh well. I don't have a wobbly analog stick anymore. Well, I did. As I used to race road control cars, um, and I used to, for, for those of you that, that might have raced road control cars, I use a, a stick radio compared to the, the wheel one. It's just always what I've preferred. And while during one race at some point I had one of the sticks snap off um, and had to try and race the majority of a heat with 
very serious difficulties in the control department. <laughs> I was worried we were going to have the rest of this stream. Well, I don't, I don't know, I'd swap control and something else, but yeah, analog stick kind of falling apart. It's a bit along those lines. Uh, we do have someone else. Who else, is, who else has got connected? Uh, didn't see uh, who has joined. We have another person. Was it Lado? Uh, who has come to join this session of madness? Um, so we've got three of whatever the hell those are. Pazima things, I think. Possibly with some very bright light bars on the top. You've got me with a cherry of rally car. And we've got Speed Beast with just a normal classic Pazima. I think I think those things are going to fall apart. I think my car has the best suspension, but uh is probably not very powerful. It's not very powerful. I'm going to have very high top speed. Don't know what engine speed beast has got in that thing. Could be fast, but will have less ground clearance than me. Oh, and oh, we've teleported away where we didn't want to go. And Rusky has a wend over. Uh, okay, so we go sort of sensible, sensible, fairly sensible, and then all the silliness has occurred. Let's go find out what happens. Chat, place your bets. <laughs> I don't know what the hell we're going to see here, but uh, let's fire the cars down the mountain and we will hope for the best. I'm hoping my suspension is going to be able to deal with these jumps. My gearbox might have trouble here. Okay, engine damage, conduction system damage, don't care. Longbow's lost a wheel. Oh, bigger problems for me, steering damage. Uh-oh. Uh, now, oh, Speed Beast has absolutely sent it. I, I have some questions. I am technically cheating, but also not cheating. What happens if I get to the bottom in one piece? I'm trying to catch up to Rusky, which is proving very difficult. I don't know whether this counts as a cheated run, but uh-oh, 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 please slow down, please slow down. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, Rusky made it, <laughs> but does Rusky work? Here is the question, my car still works. Oh, Rusky's car does not work. We, we, I don't know whether we really win. I mean, the crash to get up there was legit. We didn't aim to get up there. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, we, yeah. <laughs> I'm amazed it landed and could carry on from that crash. Uh, so we are the only ones to actually make it to the bottom, survive. Uh, <laughs> Lato saying, as a cheat, I'll allow it. It was it was quite a good cheat as far as cheats go. Uh, completely unintentional. <laughs> uh, so yeah, th there is that. Um, <laughs> no one else is going to make it anyway. We did finish on three wheels. Yeah, that is a good point. So what happened to the other cars? Brazen. Oh, Brazen is a tangled bit of metal. That's not how wheels are supposed to be. Longbow. Oh, longbow. <laughs> Lombo <laughs> Lombo's front wheels are at angles front wheels should not be at. Oh, the others have reset, so I'm going to guess game crash or something. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, let's go over here. I mean... If, if that's going to be left there, I see the only reasonable course of action. <laughs> Is to do that. <laughs> There's going to be a car in perfect position. Uh, upside down in front of a hill. Come on now. Everyone's going to do that at some point. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Let's not intentionally land on the... Uh, uh, what's it called? 
We're not going to try that if you could intentionally land on the sort of track and dividers. It's such a difficult place to, to aim for. But, uh, yeah, we're going to try and actually get down this course properly. Uh, Tommy, thank you very much for the uh, donation. Uh, saying, the cult allows this, let me guess. Yep, it says, wait, we've got the cult of 69. They are, uh, they are back once more. Uh, right, let's go and try this race once again. I think we have got a pretty strong car in this, uh, in, in terms of... The only thing I'll be careful of is braking. I lost steering quite badly last time around from a heavy impact, so we have got to be aware of that. So Speed Beast is sending it. Oh, we are having issues slowing down. Uh, Rusky has sent it. Well, oh, Rusky lost all the half shafts. Speed Beast has just gone for height. That is an impressive height. The front wheels on Longbow's car is just not strong enough to deal with this. Uh, my gearbox gearbox change up a gear i know you've got higher gears somewhere in there there we go brazen's having issues we are oh don't break something that's a big hit okay longbow's vehicle is in better condition than it was last time uh we are just gonna slow it down through here so we don't hit too hard uh, we can avoid the worst of the checkerboard yep we are sliding about uh, and then it is just across the line and hope that Rusky's car is broken because there's, oh crap, not much we can do about it if it isn't. We are across the line. Does Rusky's car drive? It looks like it does. Damn it. It's going to be a second place for us here. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. Good run. Good run from Rusky. We were a little bit cautious early on. Longbow, oh no, Longbow stuck. Uh, <laughs> Uh, right, hold on, we'll go rescue Longbow, because Longbow's right by the finish. And we do have a car more than capable. Come on, Longbow. We will we will help you get that weird thing uh, to the line, if at all possible. Come on. Uh-oh. Or I will join you being stuck on the weird monument. Come on. Okay, we've broken ourselves a little bit, but there we go. We have rescued Longbow. Go on. Let's get... Someone has got to get it to the bottom with this car. Oh, pfft. There is a... Well, none of my wheels are on the ground anymore. <laughs> this is... This has been less helpful. I... Well, it's worked. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Put me down. Oh, and I think I am one. I think I am one with the, uh, with Longbow's car. Yeah, and I think we're stuck. I think we've, we've, cra we've, we've crash welded into Longbow's car. Oh, no, there we go. We are free. It's worked. We got Longbow to the finish line. We had to get a little bit creative um, on that one. What happened up here? Well, we saw Speed Beast went airborne. Speed Beast's car actually in better shape than I thought it was going to be from that flight. Brazen's is wrecked and Amy's is also in. Well, Amy's is just bent the front wheels. I think... I don't think the whatever these things are are particularly good at uh, going down the hill, it is safe to say. They do not look like a particularly strong option. That is the way that it goes sometimes. Is Amy going to try going backwards? Honestly, might have better chance of keeping the front wheels alive doing that. Looks like Brazen is trying the same the same technique as well. Um, so we shall see how that goes. Uh, CJ, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, hey, Alex, would freewheeling slash soapboxing work on these? Yeah, quite possibly. We could uh, definitely have a go with a round like that at some point. Uh, shall we get into this final round? So, it's a win for me. It's a win for Rusky. Who is going to win the last round down this... Down this slope? I don't know, but uh, we are going to give it a best shot. I didn't realise this. I don't know why I didn't test to see if this had a manual gear. I just assumed it had an automatic box. I don't quite know why I was assuming that one. Uh, we know we're going to have to go pretty fast if we're going to try and beat Rusky. Because that thing has got some decent sort of speed to it. Engine and, and induction system damage, I don't care about too much. 
my goal here is more than anything is actually now trying to force Rusty to go faster with that than they want to. Oh, like that. Now, so Rusky's flipped it, which means I can try and slow down and keep my steering alive. Uh, oh. Ah, crap. Okay, we are in trouble. So we did what we wanted to. Now, my car might have a diff that allows it to be one-wheel drive. Please don't detonate over here. Okay. Everything has fallen apart up there. We can just slow this down nicely. We have steering. It's not great. It is really not great, funnily enough. Okay. We... Do not have drive. Damn. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, someone's wheel has turned up at very high speed. Bloody hell, that's off. Don't know whose that was. I mean, if anybody makes it to the bottom with a working car, they win. However, more bits of cars turned up. Longbow's car is clearly not working. Rusky is... Out. Oh, everyone's out. Everyone is out. Brazen, out. Smashed against the wall. Speed Beast, very much out. Smashed against the other wall. Rusky flipped is in many pieces, and Amy's crashed into Rusky. We, we will win this round. While we did not technically have a working car at the bottom, we are the only car at the bottom. Slash first car at the bottom. Longbow is actually going to wiggle their way, which is fair play. Fair play. Lombo has somehow got that, this time, unassisted. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, <the laughs> Blanco, there was a wheel in second and a wheel in third, and Longbo is going to wiggle into fourth <laughs> behind two. Don't even know what cars the wheels came off. One of them was a, one of the big rear wheels, uh, which I think came off of Amy's car. Uh, but yeah, the other wheel was a smaller wheel, and God knows what car that came off of. So... There we have it. The, the, the very slow wiggle. <laughs> I'm going to give Longbow a second. I think it's good enough. And I, Longbow is a second, and it's technically third place for Brazen. Well done. Well done, Brazen. With a working engine, but nothing else. There we go. <laughs> that was good fun. I enjoyed that round. <laughs> we cheated a lot. Uh, we were one legit... I, <laughs> My tactic was solid. We, I knew to beat Rusky, we were going to have to go damn fast at the start. And we it, the hope was we would outlive the Wendover, and we did. We got damaged in the process, but not as badly. So there we have it. Well, that was a very good, fun round indeed. For our next round, we're going to change course. This has been a fun route. This has been a fun route, but we are going to mix it up a little bit. I don't know what this route here is like. Not really ever tested this one. So we're going to test it. I think it's going to be fast. I think it's going to be dangerous. There are also these little ramps on the wall that you can't get. So you can't get away with running on the wall down here. You will have a big accident. But yeah, we're going to try this, going to try this route. We're going to see what it's like. And see what sort of true chaos will unfold. And the vehicles that we were going to be running for this one. Ah, oh, we're going to do the Longbow Special Round. Okay. So, the Longbow Special Round means mid-engined cars only. Which will be... Uh, Bolite, basically. Uh, I completely forgot that you can actually sort stuff. Sort by this stuff. Can we do engine... Uh, type? Nope. Uh, don't want to sort by that. Don't want to sort by... Ah, uh, you know what, screw it. I'll just l look with my eyes. It's basically going to be a scintilla or a bolide. Uh, that's rear-engined. That's front-engined. So yeah, mid-engined cars only for this round. Uh, what on earth do you want? Is a scintilla going to be stronger than a bolide? I mean, I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go scintilla. I mean, you could go the cheaty scintilla and go for the off-road one. 
but the off-road one might not be very good. Oh, we're going for race. We're going for fast, high-speed spec. Oh, the the Mr. Turbo Covert. Yes, you could use that as well. Um, you could use the Mr. Turbo Covert. That is mid-engined as well. I'd forgotten that was... I'm so used to that being a mod uh, that I might actually drive that because I haven't really driven that much in uh, videos and stream. It's because I keep forgetting because there was a mod. There was a mod for a Covert 6R4 that I used a lot of and I just keep forgetting that it's there is now an official, essentially official version of that. Um, so yeah, I mean, the Mr. the Mr. Turbo Covert is the way to go. I mean, we know, we know Lombo's going to be in a bow light. For sure. Uh, <laughs> Brazen is in a police car. Well, I mean, probably not the worst thing in the world. I have not driven this course at all. But I have no idea what to expect from this. I don't know how fast we can go. Uh, I mean, this Speed Beast is technically that's is technically mid-engined i guess and yeah, i'll give you that i'll give you that you are not wrong that is a mid-engine car <laughs> i'd also not thought about that <laughs> but, but yeah all the request was was for engine position oh the lights are bright that's a hell of a turbo going from somewhere um excuse me <laughs> I don't know who has the crazy turbo. Someone has. It might be Rusky. But wait, the car Rusky's in that we're just loading in. Um, but there we go. Uh, right, so we've got a couple of coverts. We have the... I, I, While it's got the suspension travel, I do worry about what that might do. It won't have the gearing, and if it flips, the wheels are just going to fly everywhere. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it'll probably be quite funny. Of course, Lombo has got their crazy off-road spec of uh, Scintilla, I think that one is, yeah. So, I mean, I'll just have a quick... We've got various hazards. We've got pipes, we've got <sighs> crests. Yeah, I... I have no idea. Um, I have no idea what this run is going to consist of, which is what makes it so exciting. Let's get let's get this race started. Let's see if the Covets can do it. Let's see if one of the Bolides, the Scintilla, could do it. If the Rock Bouncer might be good. Brazen shot off into the lead with the police car. I'm not going to go too crazy over these crests just yet. Brazen. I mean, it looked like Brazen's had a big accident. Brazen is pointing the wrong way at the moment. Uh, how fast do we want to go down here? Oh, amount of gears. 140 is all... Oh, okay! 140 was a good speed. Brazen's had it. Brazen's gone for a very big flip. There is a pit there that Speed Beast has almost fallen in. Amy with a big crash. We are just out of gears and on the anti-lag. We'll jump the lava pit. That's fine. Uh... I mean, we're fine. We can't really do much more here. Oh, it looked like Lombo had a really big crash across the line, but I don't know if that is the case. Uh, possibly we are having a big crash across the line. Stunningly. I think we're okay. I mean, we probably... No, we're not okay. Oh, we lost the drive shaft. Lombo is going to be the victor. <laughs> Lombo is going to win in that one. Speed Beast did come home in second. Yeah, unfortunately, we lost. We lost one, one little drive shaft, and that was the end of that. I was hoping the diff was going to uh, to work. Ah, well, there's your there's there's a problem. Brazen and Amy are in the lava, and oh, Rusky had reset. Uh, <laughs> considering the size of crash we had, 
The fact that we only suffered very minor damage is honestly impressive right there. This is this is a tough car. That is a seriously tough car. Uh, I would like to just extend the gear ratios out a lot, ideally. Uh, right, we... what is it? Final drive ratio. I think, is it that way? Or that way do what I want it to do? Maybe. I'm honestly not sure, but I guess we will find out. And I will have to... I will just be hopeful that that has given us a higher top end. Uh, th this route is very quick. <laughs> this route is very, very quick. Uh, which is fun. I think this route is a lot less damaging to cars than we have seen from some of these other ones. Alright. Uh, Here we go. Let's fire the Hovert into battle down here. So across those first bits, not too much of a problem. Uh, oh, it's got loose. It's got very loose going over that crest. We gathered it back up. No, we are about the same as we were before. Oh, Speed Beast going very close. It's a huge flight for Speed Beast. Oh, I forgot to apply it. Of course, the game doesn't save it as you do it. God damn it. Yeah, we're just stuck flat. I think this course is a little too straightforward, if I'm honest. Um, it's just not quite damaging enough um, down here. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a different sort of a route. This is the one bit that's probably going to cause issues, oh, as Brazen has amply demonstrated. Uh, well, we've lost the oil radiator. Such a terrible thing. Yeah, we are into the sand. <laughs> fine. Everything is fine. Everything is everything is okay. Oh well, Rusky has smashed their comet up to pieces. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. So it claimed a couple of victims. It claimed Rusky's car is a ball of metal, and Brazen. Don't quite know what happened to Brazen, but that's that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Brazen saying, who put a tiny ramp on the side? Yes, it's to stop cars from cheating and just running down the wall. Quite a clever anti-cheat uh, technique. I like it. I think it should be on all of them. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that that would explain. That would explain how uh, Brazen ended up with a very big accident. There we go. Uh, Shady Ferret, thank you very much for the uh, donations. So how about a minimum of six tyre class? So either six uh, wheeled or duty trucks or large trucks. Yeah, we can have a go with that at some point. That sounds like a good idea. That's better gear ratio-wise. We should have much longer gears for this run. Might stand a chance of keeping up with some of the other cars here. Uh, Drake, thank you for the donation. Uh, so, Alex, you know uh, someone watching this will request it. Uh, guess what? It's, guess what? It's me. We need to see you do vans down the hill routes of bridges and lava. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, P.S. How is Chirizo doing? Did, did he bark for bum? Chirizo is still alive on the long drive, which is always good. Um, uh, P.P.S. Shush, there is no cult back. Ah, oh, the cult of one P is indeed back for the moment. Uh, Wolfpack. Uh, thank you very much for the donations. Say R.I.P. Uh, Craig Breen. Indeed, yes. Uh, World Rally Championship driver passed away whilst testing his car for the next rally. I, I did hear that. It was um, uh, yesterday. Yeah, very, very sad news. Very sad news. Was uh, an incredibly talented driver. Uh, I, I can't say I knew a huge amount about them, but uh, it is very, very sad news indeed. Um, I think they were just starting to... to kind of get a get a, a shot at the world rally championship so yeah really really sad news um I, yeah I'm, I'm sure plenty of people have heard but uh yeah it is uh, it is it is a terrible a terrible shame that one you know motorsport is i mean yeah mo motorsport is is a dangerous thing and sometimes as, as safe as we make it these days things can and, and do still go wrong um and and hopefully things will be learned and you know try and make cars safer for, for the future hell there was the uh, Porsche accident at, at Portimao today, uh, where Porto managed to clear the debris fence and landed in the grandstand. Thankfully, it's a test session, and it's, you know sometimes these these 
you know, her, everyone was fine as far as I know from that. Um, but uh, yeah, that sometimes, as much as you make motorsport safe, it there is always an, an inherent risk. And yeah, it is. It's always a great shame when a driver or a co-driver or uh, anyone passes away in in the sport. Um, he will be yeah, will be will be greatly missed with uh, with that. Um, King Louis, thank you for the donation. I say, hello, Alex. Excited to uh, finally get to donate. Oh, well, thank you very much indeed. Uh, I loved watching the behind the scenes uh, to the Survive the Flood video. I enjoyed watching and listening to you interact with the filming crew. I would love to see uh, more of that kind of stuff in the future. I mean, it's certainly possible. It is It is certainly possible indeed to see, see more of that. Um, it is always... It's always difficult. It's always a challenge. Um, it's not very polite. Uh, so, <laughs> so one of the challenges we, we have, of course, is when doing, oh, certainly when doing streaming, if you're trying to stream, do commentary, if I'm trying to do commentary for the stream, talk to filming crew, talk to chat and read data, it becomes very, very difficult to do all of that in one go, uh, which is why I tend to stream uh, oh, more stuff, we just kind of me on my own, because uh, yeah, you have a better chance of being able to interact with, with chat and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, but I definitely liked the format for the Race the Flood, whereby you could, uh, could kind of do the do the behind the scenes thing. You'll, we'll certainly see more of it. Oh, what's happened to this car? This car's really weird now. Um, but uh, yeah, it is definitely that is definitely a format you are likely to see more of. I'm glad people enjoyed it. I'm glad people enjoyed kind of seeing the finished video as well. Uh, and it's always interesting, I think, to see how this stuff is made as well. Uh, <laughs> like me as a uh, as a creator, it is interesting to see other channels when they do kind of like behind the scenes stuff. Um, <laughs> there was a brazen related plane accident, was there? Oh, Amy's oh Amy's upside down near the finish line. I saw that. Uh, <laughs> jump brazen, uh, yeah, brazen's in many pieces. Speed Beast is in many pieces. <laughs> oh, brazen. <laughs> they played it long. Well, we, a lot of us died down there on that run. I just lost control. And, yeah, we had an accident of our own making further up. No one really survived that very well. I think Speed Beast is the most working vehicle on that route. It's not great, but it is the most working vehicle. Um, right there. And, yeah, everything else is broken. So... <laughs> There we go. Uh, the, co the Mr. Turbo Covet wasn't great for this for this route. Uh, honestly, I think Lombo's probably had the best of the runs with with the boat. And to be fair, Speedy's had quite good runs with the Rock Bouncer or whatever the damn thing was called. I've forgotten the name of it. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> there we go. We tried a slightly different route. I'm not sure that's my, that's not my favourite route, um, but we did have a go with it. Now the next request. I quite like this. this. is an interesting one. A slight different take on it. So, I'm going to get a head start. We're going to go to the uh, this route. We're going to go all the way to uh, this route for the next round. What is going to be? I am going to get to pick a car. Everyone else is going to pick a heavyweight vehicle. So, it can be a truck. Uh, it can be a bus whatever. Uh, I get a head start. Let's say ooh, a five second head start. And then, so what I'll do is, I actually yeah, what I'll do is I will set off, put the countdown in chat as I set off, and then everyone else is going to be in heavyweights, and their goal is to stop me from getting to the bottom. So I'm going to pick a car that should make it down here that will be good for this kind of thing, and their goal is to stop me from getting to the bottom. I've got to try and survive. I think they will win, but it will be funny to, to try. <laughs> I am fairly convinced they will win, but chat will enjoy seeing vehicles smashed to pieces because uh, a lot of that is going to happen. Rocket bus. Yeah, you see, but the, 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 the vehicles, they've got to be careful with this because you could, you could absolutely go for a rocket bus. But you'll have so little steering that if you miss, you're just going to go flying past and it'll do nothing. I can't use the car with wings. I know it looks cool, but it's not on the server. It's only in my game files. It's not on the server files. 
Uh, I should really delete it at some point because it gives everyone hope. Sorry, there is no, there is no flying bolide available. Uh, right. I think this is my best bet. If, if anything is going to work, the sunburst is going to work. So, the reasons why I believe this car is going to work. Well, all wheel drive, we've got a bit of ground clearance. Uh, the hope is that I will be able to dodge incoming vehicles quite well with this. Now, if, if we get hit, it doesn't matter what I'm driving. If we get hit, it's game over, right? That's why I've gone for a rally car, because my goal is to not get hit. I could go for a strong car. However, <laughs> unless I am in an indestructible car when I manage to roll, by farting about. Well, that's we're off to an excellent start here. Uh, <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, um, umpire said I would have picked the off-road version. Now, you see, there is a very good reason why I didn't. The off-road version of the Sunburst does have greater ride height. However, its suspension isn't as strong. It seems to break a lot more easily than the Rally version. And... The last thing that I want is something breaking on the car even before it uh, kind of gets killed by the heavyweights. Uh, so, I think it was Ruskin was asking, yes. It, the, the goal for the heavyweight vehicles is to stop me. They're not racing as such. Their goal is to just murder me, basically. And if they, they they win if they kill me, I win if I make it to the bottom in a working condition. Oh. Oh, God. Right. I don't like this. <laughs> Funnily enough, I'm, I'm not really sure. Uh, Night Owls Cosmic Fox, thank you very much for the uh, donation, by the way. Is it possible to combine Survive the Descent with Race the Flood? Uh, there's, there's, I'm not going to say, uh, exactly, um, what plans I have, but there are various plans for the Flood mod, never fear. Um, I have a bunch of plans for it, we will see plenty more of it in the future, in video forms, potentially in stream forms as well. So, uh, yeah, there is definitely going to be some more, some more Flood um, related shenanigans. Okay. Shall we see how this goes? Patrick, I hope this lives up to your expectations, because, God, I am concerned. Um, I don't quite know where everyone is going. Oh, well, let's just do that. Right. Sunburst, it's panic and flea time. So this route is genuinely a difficult route. Uh, we have got to be careful. Oh crap, I only do 116 miles an hour. My gearing, oh this is really bad news. Uh, <laughs> oh, so we are out of gears at 116 miles an hour. I'm going to blow my engine up. At, oh, uh oh. Oh crap, I know what I can do for safety. I have a plan. Please, please don't break on me. Oh, 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 Speed Beast is here. Speed Beast has exploded into a million pieces. Oh, no. Lombo is here with a bus and the bus is in a pit. That's fine. I can live with that. Amy's bus, or oh, uh, Brazen's exploded and has fallen off to the side. Amy's bus is heading towards us. Oh, crap. Please make the jump. It did. Okay. Amy's bus is still there, heading towards us. I want to get across to this side. Oh, brakes! Oh. Okay, now, actually, we don't even have to overtake Amy, technically speaking. But we can, just because we will get to the bottom. <laughs> and we will make it. The Rally Sunburst survives. <laughs> We're still being chased by a bus. <laughs> okay, I think my plan to go across the uh, middle bit of concrete was quite good. 
No, go away, school bus. No. No. <laughs> Uh, Speedy's effort was spectacular. Longbow's... Longbow got close, just fell into that pit, uh, causing issues. Shall we go and have a look and see, uh, what... what happened? So, Longbow... <laughs> Longbow's bus... Is, uh, Longbow was not that incorrect. That was fair. I mean, there's a hole missing out the side. I suspect some children fell out the side of your bus. Well, or maybe got decapitated... The windows are still technically there. That's eh, probably not too safe, but it's in a better condition than most. Brazen is on fire, and he's probably not too healthy over there. Uh, uh, the others have reset. Uh, <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Yeah, this is terrifying. So... I am, I'm not going to change my gear ratio. I think I'm going to keep it as it is while it is very short. For the, uh, let's say, for balance, I think it actually kind of works out quite well. Right. Here we go. Okay. Do the countdown. Fire up the car. And we are underway here. So they will catch us. We know they're going to catch up to us. They're going to launch vehicles. I mean, Speed Beast's attempt was spectacular, but was overshot. My concern is... They're going to potentially know my plan. I'm likely to try the same thing we did last time. Uh, I can't run it at 123. It's going to blow up if we keep doing that. Uh, so my goal will be the same line that we had last time. Unfortunately, if any of them manage to make it up here, I could be in tremendous trouble. Oh, I've lost control of my car. I've really got... Uh oh, crap. Uh... Bad things are about to happen. Oh, well, bad things are about to happen to me anyway because I'm stuck out here. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, no! Ow! 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 Oh, no. <laughs> the problems have occurred. Problem, many, all of the sunburst is broken. <laughs> Good hit from Brazen, I will say that much. <laughs> oh, oh, Amy's missing all the bodywork. Well, the bodywork's there, and Amy's bus is, frame is there. <laughs> Lobo did make it further down. <laughs> yeah, we didn't survive that one. I think I could have got away with it. I think we could have got that. Like, that that would have still worked. And then Brazen happened. And then <laughs> it was not working. Oh, dear. The roll cage held up very well. Uh, the front of the car did not. Uh, <laughs> the engine, front subframe, all of that's out. The rear wheel's off. I mean, from, from this angle, it's almost not too bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah. God damn. Ah. Uh. That is, the, that's, that is the downside of the route that I took, is if the back end lets go, you're in trouble. A lot of that crash was of our own making. A lot of that crash was our own... Our own problem, essentially. Um, but, uh, yeah. Brazen definitely made sure there was zero recovery chance from that. And Brazen was the only one that could hit us. Amy had already disintegrated. Longbow and Speed Beast had overshot. Uh, so <laughs> it really was just Brazen. That, uh, that could do that. Um... No! <laughs> uh, right, let's go and reload all of the vehicles and let us go and try again. Uh, right, we will do... Um... Longbow, you've stolen my car! My, my my wing got caught on like the bash bars on Lombo's vehicle. That's unfortunate. Right, let's try again. Uh, I think my plan is still good. I, as dangerous as it is, I still think it's the way to go down here. I've just got to be aware of what can happen to my car. 
essentially. Let's just... I don't... <laughs> Problem is, I'd want to go slowly. I know I need to go slowly here, because if I don't, I will lose control on my own, or can lose control on my own. Where are the vehicles? Are they going to follow me over this raised section? It's a big bit of airtime for us. Uh, come on, Sunburst. Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh, dear. Well, uh, no. Recover this. Oh. We have made it. I can see a lot of fire going on behind us. I can see a bus that has made it through in one piece. Oh, crap. Amy is approaching at a huge amount of speed. And I do not have the steering. I'm out of gears. It's not going to matter. Braces is right there as well. Oh, we make it. Oh! Brace's attempt was great. They were, they, they were just not quite close enough. I am astonished we survived that. Our roll was actually quite dangerous. Our roll was very... Brayson has survived that astonishingly. <laughs> How is that alive? Oh crap, Ruskies turned up. Well, Ruskies is also alive in a bit worse shape. Uh, should we go and investigate? I could go in free cam, however. Uh, maybe, maybe this was a little bit too fast. Although we were kind of limited by top speed a bit. Speed beast disintegrated at some point. That is very little of a truck left. And, ah. Well, I see the problem. The entire body of Longbow's bus has fallen off. And Longbow is a frame. Uh, <laughs> Lombo's upside down and I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, that's a fun idea. That is a fun idea. Definitely. Uh, we may have to revisit that at some point. Um, you know what? While we're over here, uh, 4327 uh, requested, can we do a bus and truck round? And while we did technically have a load of bus and buses and trucks, let's do an actual proper bus and truck round. Uh, so you can use whatever bus or truck you would like down here. Um, we're going to say no. So we're going to say no to the H series. It's got to be like a T series or actually is that mini bus? Is that actually a H series? Uh, okay, it is. Never mind. Ignore me. Uh, you can use you can use the H series uh, then, but let's not have any sensible spec vehicles um, for this. Uh, I am going to go for... I'm going to go for the T-75. I feel like it's the way to go, really. Now, for this, at the end of the day... So this will be different in that we are now racing each other, of course. Uh, and it is a question because whoever gets to the bottom and is still working is going to be the winner. Ooh. Now, that... You can't. You won't attack this as fast as they did trying to catch me, um, because you want to try and make it in one piece. Although they still got to go quite quickly down here. Um, so we shall. We shall see. Uh, Daniel, thank you for the uh, donation. Saying another mashup idea: survive the descent, cat and mouse edition. Yeah, that could work. <laughs> that could. That could work. For sure. Oh, we're going to try and have a bus on the back of a... It only looks like it's going to break physics, but sure, why not? Why not give it a try? That's definitely ending in something breaking somewhere. Uh, H2G2, thank you very much for the donation, saying, I, I'm watching this while doing practice for hazard perception on my driving test. How appropriate. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck with, uh, with that one. Uh, also, should I tell jokes about black and white bears, or is it just pandering to the audience? Oh, dear me. That is going to be a boo to you. From chat, and indeed, from me. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. But good luck. Good luck with the, uh, with the, the theory test with the hazard perception. 
and all of that. Uh, let's get everything reset. Oh, don't, okay, don't crash it. Don't go near Rusky, otherwise things are going to go bad. So we have bus, and we have, so we have bus with a ram plow. We have a normal bus. We have a mini bus, and we have a mini bus on the back of a huge transporter, and I have a truck. And this can only go well. I, th I think the chances of us making it to the bottom are <laughs> going to be not great, but we shall try. Uh, all right, Speed Beast is, I don't know, doing what. All right, hurry up, because we are going to get underway. Uh, if the bus makes it past the first obstacle, I'll be impressed. But you never know. Let's see what happens. I, I totally won't try and help the bus fall off the truck. If there is any way I can help the bus fall off the truck. Uh, Rusky definitely wanted to help the bus fall off the truck, didn't he? Uh, it's, it's hopping and jumping all over the place. Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a surprisingly clean dismount. Neither of them have been too horrifically broken in that dismount. I've just realised in all my watching of that battle have forgotten what I'm driving and am now very worried for my life. Uh, my brakes are going to start melting at this point. Oh no! No! <laughs> you twat! I don't know who it was. I don't know who to be angry at. I want to say brazen. Oh, dear. Flaming wreck of a truck. I beat Longbow to the bottom. Maybe. Might not have even been brazen. It might have been speed beast. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. We're going in the pit. Oh, uh, we've avoided the pit. We are out of contention here. Brazen has actually just overtaken Amy. Longbow's a bit out of control. Brazen, I think, is going to make it. Astonishingly, I think Brazen is across the line, and Brazen wins. Amy was on the train tracks for a while. Longbow crosses the line in third. Uh, I think that's one of my wheels has crossed the line in fourth. But I do believe Brazen has won, and Amy's... <laughs> Amy's vehicle has been debussed. Longbow definitely. Yeah, Brazen works. Um, Longbow works. Speed Beast even made it to the bottom. We did not. We are stuck there. And Rusky has, I think, reset. Uh, <laughs> oh. It was going quite well for us, but yeah, we got... I don't actually know who hit us. It was yellow, is literally all I know. It, so it could have been Brazen, it could have been Speed Beast. It couldn't have been Longbow because they were in front. And I don't think it was Amy because while they are a bit yellow, it's a lot of other colours. But yeah, I, I genuinely don't know who hit us. Um, so there we go. Impressed, impressed by Speed Beast's bus still actually working at the end there. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, the fact that both Amy and Brazen made it to the bottom in half-decent condition, having started with a bus on the back of a recovery truck, actually really good. Uh, but uh, there we go. Oh, dear. Uh, Alex Anderson, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, I am behind on the stream, so if you haven't done this, can we race drag cars? Hopefully, we will have time. Yes, that can definitely go on the list of stuff for us to be racing. Lado is here with a cement mixer. Oh, dear God. Uh, well, we shall see what happens with all of this. Uh, right, I guess we're going to go for a, a begin the race here. Uh, I mean, it's, we know... We know the buses are the, the the smaller buses are actually quite rapid. We can't be too slow because they they, they stand a chance of surviving. The thing is, we can't go too fast, or we are just going to lose control of a truck on a very very steep road. It's a difficult balancing act. It is a really really difficult balancing act, which always makes this the entertaining challenge. Uh, it's because I want to go for. 
that middle root again, but you can't go flat out over the middle root. Uh, you will just jump too far and have a tremendous accident. We have probably jumped a bit too far, realistically speaking. Uh, right, oh crap. Truck survived this impact. It did. My engine is exploding. Hello, Lombo. Uh, yeah, we're going over the jump. Brazen's disintegrated. We've debussed Lombo. We've somehow got away with that. How have we got away with that? No, oh, not got away with that bit there, though. Might still work if I can get through the gears. No. No, no, there is. Oh! There's still some life in the TC. It's going. It's now a case of can I beat Speed Beast to the bottom? Who has more drive? Who has more steering? Amy can drive but is stuck. Lado is a ball of metal on fire. We are going to cross the line in second. <laughs> we'll help Amy out. <laughs> I don't know if we helped Amy out that much. <laughs> no, we just debussed Amy as well. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was an amazing round. <laughs> Longbow, I'm sorry. Things went really badly wrong. I think we... Oh, no, we didn't help Amy that much. Uh, I think Amy... Uh, so Lado's disintegrated. Brazen's an absolute mess. Rusky's fallen over and has not got any wheels left. There's, that's what's left of Longbow. Um, <laughs> yeah, Longbow really did get debussed completely there. Uh, <laughs> the tr I am not sure the children had a great time in that one. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we have the most functioning thing. I think Amy said theirs does work. Um, I'm, I'm happy to give it to Amy. Because we also smashed into it after the finish line. I'll take a second place, to be honest. How we somehow got away with a ridiculous accident. I don't know. In a truck at 100 plus miles an hour. Uh, is incredible. That was good fun. That was a good round. That was a good round. It was very silly, but I'll... Yeah. I'm happy with that. Uh, <laughs> uh, pet... Uh, Petco, thank you very much. Pet cow, sorry, thank you very much for the uh, super chat. I uh, say, idea! Uh, Alex has to get from the bottom to the top uh, or to a point, and others have to stop him and can respawn as much as they want. <laughs> okay. That's that's actually sound pretty interesting. Whether that will be done in, in, in the stream or as a video, I'm not sure. I like that idea, though. That could be really entertaining. Um, yeah, that's a really interesting idea. It's kind of a bit like dodgeball. Uh, or kind of like the, the, the cannon bulldog sort of thing we've done, only with a lot more danger and a lot more speed, and a lot bigger a crash if things go wrong. Uh, so that's what we're looking for here. Um, so, there we go. Ah, oh, apparently uh, uh, Trolls also was saying, uh, rewound the video, the only thing that knocked you out in the first round with these was, oh, it was Speed Beast. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, bloody hell. Well, we've got, we kind of have had revenge, so I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Um, let's see if... Let's see if Lado is going to be able to make it down with that. Let's go and run this race again. Oh. Uh, well, I might have started that one before Brazen and Amy were ready. But, uh, you know what? That, that worked um, for them the first time. So why not try it again? I mean, we know we've got to it. We know we've got to go for this here if it's going to work. Uh, we have got two. We can't match those vehicles for speed. So we've got to push now. Try and slow it down and hope they make a mistake. Um, oh, crap. Right, so this is the point where I've got to start applying brakes. My engine over revs a bit. Oh, Lado with a tremendous shunt. I've run out of steering. Everyone's blocking the route that I want. We've got a little bit of air time. I'm losing steering. All is fine. All is fine. All is fine. Amy, look out! <laughs> oh, my brakes were fading and there wasn't a huge amount that we could do. Longbow has the lead of the race. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. We're going to fly and 
truck through the air. Still struggling for control here. Don't land on the checkerboard sideways. That will disintegrate my vehicle. Amy has been debussed. I've run out of gears. Tell you what, is a hell of a close round. We are across the line in third. Although I think Amy may not have steering <laughs> left. Now the question is, who can still drive? My engine... Can I still drive? Yes, Amy can still drive. Brazen can still drive. Longbow, I think, can still... Yeah. All four of us made it down there. Super close. Uh, <laughs> that, I'm actually thoroughly impressed with how many vehicles survived that one. That was quite remarkable. That was just a clean, properly close race. If I had more gears, we could have maybe done something. Even Lado's ball of metal has made it to the bottom. Rusky is the... I think Rusky's the only one that didn't make it. <laughs> Speed Beast got there. Oh, what a round. Yeah, Lado's ball of metal. I can't believe we made it across the jump as well. Um, <laughs> that was mighty impressive. Well, good run, everybody. It's almost like we know what we're... No, no, let's not say that. Let's not say that. Because... Um, chances are that's not going to work, but there we go. Well, well done to uh, Longbow for claiming victory in a surprisingly good heavyweight round. Oh dear. We shall reset the next class. We're going to stick with this slope. This slope's quite a good one, actually. Uh, the next class we're going to run is going to be uh, Amy's choice. Well, there we go. <laughs> Killer Robert requested. Amy gets to choose on this next one. Go. So we shall wait to see. Also, uh, Zachary Keller, thank you for the super chat. I say first person only round. Uh, love these live streams. I'll tell you what, I don't know if we're going to do all three runs from first person, but I will for the first run, whatever. Um, oh, we're going to be in Picolinas. Of course we are. I will go first person only for this uh, uh, for this for this next round. I don't, I don't do it for all three because it's. Yeah, <laughs> it's not actually quite as spectacular and might be a bit motion sicknessy. Uh, so, but we will have a go with one round. Uh, so, Amy wants us in a basic ish Piccolina must be painted a shade of pink. Okay. I know what I'm doing. I have a plan. Uh, actually, we'll go for the, the slightly bigger. I do have a plan. Actually, I don't know whether it will let us do it. Will it let me do this? Because uh, my idea was going to be... Ah, here we go. So this is just to a... No oh, that's not quite what I wanted. I wanted the whole thing. Ah, uh, okay. I wanted the whole thing. Actually, we'll go for, can we go for a double stripe? I don't see any stripes. Basically, my idea was to have as many different shades of pink on the car as possible. Just to annoy Amy. Uh, so paint two. Ah, oh, there we go. That's what we want. Can we get like a terrible... Actually, maybe we want the basic car to be like a... And it's more purple than anything, but... There we go. Let's get some... Ah, that's what we want. That's what we were looking for. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. We have got a pink-ish car with pink stripes. I can see nothing that can go wrong with any of this. Uh, we have got the giddy heights of 45 horsepower. Uh, <laughs> oh, no one else. No one else has gone for pink on pink. I am disappointed. Oh. <laughs> I am disappointed indeed uh, at this. But yeah, we, we'll try a run in first person. Actually, and plus point is, I will see less pink. No, no, I will still see a fair amount of pink. Because all the interior is pink. <laughs> Just see very laggy things turning up in the, uh, in the rear view. I'm not convinced this is going to go well. Uh, we will stay out here till... Oh! Okay. 
Speedbeast has also had the idea of funky colours for this. Right. Who are we waiting for? We have me, we have Amy, we have Lado. Brazen has the worst siren in the world. And it's a longbow that we're waiting for. I'm not quite sure where Longbow is. Is Longbow disconnected? Oh, there we go. Longbow has just got their car. Uh, uh, A-Rod, thank you very much for the donation. Saying I declare a challenge. Instead of racing to the finish, can you grab your fastest car and try to get the most airtime off a ramp? I'll donate an extra five pounds if you can go Ooh. for over five seconds. Okay. Uh, we can definitely... Uh, we can have a long jump competition. I'm not quite sure where, but uh, yeah, we can have a go with a long jump competition at some point if if we have time to get around to everything. Uh, King Louis, thank you for the uh, donation. Saying, would you ever do a Forza stream? No, or is uh, Forza too broken? So I've always wanted to see uh, was your process building and testing your cars. Uh, not something I'm particularly excellent at myself. Uh, yeah, it, there is definitely a chance uh, that we will see. In fact, we were talking about it while we were filming Forza last night. Uh, I think it was last night, or the week before. It's definitely quite a possible that we will see some Forza streams coming up at some point in the future. Uh, there, <laughs> there's so many streams that I want to do, and just only so many, you know, days of the week to be doing streaming and whatnot. But uh, yeah, absolutely, Forza streams are a real possibility that uh, that we will see in the not too distant future, uh, amongst all the other games that we have to, to stream, basically. Right. Shall we get this underway? I think we will. Uh, we will go for the horrific motion sick. Well, I don't know how bad it's going to be in here. Uh, but we are off and we are underway here in the wonderful Picolina. I don't know what gear I'm in. Uh, fourth gear? I'm going to. Oh, I was. Uh, well, I have not intended on going up here. That's the that downside. We'll get back on the course. All is fine. I still have steering. I will just keep power down and hope that others explode. That is basically what we're doing. Oh, I see flashy lights. I'm going to guess that's brazen. Uh, we're just going for it at this point. We'll go for an overtake on Longbow. Oh, my steering's not very good. Oh, crap. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, the, the difficult part is I just don't know what gear I'm in. I'm just guessing and pressing buttons. Uh, trying to get between Longbow and the pit was a terrible idea. Uh, Speedbeast is off to the left, having had a bad time. My car pulls severely to the right. I have got it back on course again. I mean, Brazen and Amy are here. I'm trying to get the car off the train line. Hello! Oh! Well, ow! Tree! Tree and spinning. Does my car even work? I'm going to go with a no. <laughs> Gonna go with a no, that does not seem to want to fire up. Does it? No. <laughs> it doesn't work. It does not work at all. Oh, a bunch of vehicles have made it to the bottom. So, this is the downside of first person. You just don't see what happens uh, as much, other than we lost control. We were doing quite well, but we had some serious steering damage, and then we just couldn't pull the car. Well, once he finally pulled the car off the train tracks, it just flung it across into the trees. Uh, we do, yeah. The good news is we got the car off the train line. The bad news is is we found a tree at very high speeds. Um, so there are a lot of cars, but no, no idea who won. A lot of cars made it down in one piece, and Speed Beast somehow managed to... How did you get over there? It's a Piccolina. It's not going that fast. How did you clear... Not only did you get off the cleared an entire lane to end up over there. Longbow found a pit. Yeah. Didn't go great. Didn't go great. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. 
I mean, it's good fun. <laughs> Let's try again, shall we? Let's see what happens. Um, Drake, thank you for the donation. Uh, uh, so haiku time. Uh, big descent on hill. Alex chased by trucks as <laughs> bad luck. Uh, oh no, <laughs> you lose now. Oh, uh, yeah. When when you get hit by when the trucks catch you on that, you you get very killed. Uh, longbow round next. His choice of vehicle and track. Uh, we're not being bribed by Lombo, <laughs> Lato, or Speed Beast. Uh, P.S. Uh, we are back. Ah, oh, the Cult of 1P is back. Of course it is. Uh, yeah, we will... Well, I don't know if we'll have time for everything. We'll try and get around and do as many requests as we possibly can, of course. Uh, fingers crossed we will be able to. Um, but, uh, yeah, we shall see. Let's go and give this another try, shall we? Uh, it went terribly for us on that one. This time, we can surely... Why am I... I'm, I'm not driving a truck. Stop double shifting. Uh, it is not very clever uh, to do that. Now, the, the real question is, how brave do you go in this? You want to be in the lead of the race. Of course you do. But if you are going too quickly, you run the risk of crashing out, basically. You run the risk of one of these crests or something being your demise. See, I'm wanting to start slowing down. I am in trouble with the gears. I am, yeah, over-revving the engine, but I can't do anything about that, really. Uh, I have no more gears to go to. 100 seems like a good shout over here. I would just hold it in neutral, but I can't... Ooh, bad. Things have happened? Honestly, of all the crashes that could have occurred to a Piccolina, mine is still being fairly minor. Especially considering up ahead, I can see Brazen and Amy are tumbling and twisting. They are both out of control. They have both had tremendous shunts. And while my shunt was quite bad, it wasn't as bad as theirs. Uh... We have got Longbo on the left is absolutely flying. I think Longbo's on the train line. Longbo's got back on the circuit. I'm just going to slow it down so I don't break my car on that transition. We will claim a victory. We have a fully functioning Piccolina at the bottom of the course. Longbo makes it in second. Also with a most... Yeah, I'd say that's functioning. That's made the, that has got steering and power. Amy has crossed the line. It's a big crash. It was a big crash for Amy. Uh, <laughs> but did get away with it. I don't know what started that crash. I don't know if they made contact with each other or whether they just got an awkward bounce. Um, yeah, we, we had a really... Like, we had a tremendous accident, but it wasn't a damaging crash. It was just one of those crashes that it skidded on its roof for a bit, magically landed on its wheels, and was fine. Rusky would have taken a big smash somewhere on there has stopped brazen we saw tumbling through the air that's a very poorly pick a leader speed beast is in the pit and lado is crumpled and in pieces oh that's a banana yeah lado's banana to pick a leader maybe maybe bounced it off there and twisted it and tumbled down the hill i don't know that's a weird place actually to have ended up that that broken but there we go okay astonishingly I get a victory in uh, this. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that. In a Piccolina round, I got a victory. What's going on? Uh, Lego Gaming, thank you very much for the donation. Saying first time catching a stream live. Hey, uh, been watching since the GTA 4 days, but mainly remember the automation uh, slash beam time attack challenges. Ah, that is a long time. You have been watching for an awful, awful long time. I'm glad you are still around. Glad you are still enjoying uh, the uh, the videos and whatnot. Uh, any chance we get a, a Gavriel Legroma round? Uh, there is definitely a chance it's going to appear. I don't know if we're going to get everybody in one, but I know what the next round coming up is going to be, and it's probably going to appear in that. So, yes, they're likely to make an appearance. Um, that is uh, that is likely to make an appearance. Uh, Pet Cow, thank you very much for the donation as well. Uh, saying, love the content, by the way. But I was also thinking you could call it uh, Survive the Avalanche for the bottom to top challenge uh, thing, if it could be a series. Yeah, because there was that mod. Uh, there, there was a mod I played a very long time ago that was basically it was like a, lot, a big hill. 
uh, that had a bunch of like debris thrown down at you and you could drive up it. Really, really cool like little mini game. And this is kind of like a player made version of that. Yeah, I, I, really, like, I do really like that idea. Uh, we will definitely have to have a go with that at, uh, at some point because yeah, it sounds like fun. Uh, it sounds like a good amount of, of chaos. Uh, I did see Amy, I think Amy didn't put in chat or, or somewhere. Amy, Amy is happy about the number of picolinas, about the number of pink picolinas going on as well, of course. That is the most important part of all of this. Uh, right. And we are, again, kind of going for it a bit. I'm worried about my poor engine. It's kind of, it's going to over rev. Just, I don't want it to blow up completely, but it's, it's got to go for it a bit. I'm hoping Speed Beast will, oh no. Well, I didn't want to go that fast here, but I guess we are. Oh, crap. No! Brazen has done a murder. Or was it Lado? It might have been Lado. I thought it was Brazen, but I have a feeling that was a Lado murder. Or I don't actually know who it was. If it's Lado that was right behind us, I think Lado has done a murder. It has been a very successful murder on us. Never mind. Karma's bitter, regardless. It is Amy that is leading the way. And I think it is going to be Amy that is probably going to take a victory here. Unless something weird is broken in that car. Which, honestly, doesn't look like it. Um, Amy is across the line right there. Will take victory. Longbow will cross the line in second. In pretty good condition. That looks like they might be the only two that are working. Speed Beasts has flipped and disintegrated. Is still rolling. He's a very funny shape. Brazen's has ended up on the train lines. There it goes. Uh, <laughs> look at it go. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, for those saying, why don't I turn the engine off? The, the reason why is um, I you could you could coast it the whole way down. You wouldn't break the engine, but you wouldn't be going very fast at the start. And we've got to you've got to be going quickly in this if you want to win, because uh, there are going to be vehicles that will go quickly. So yeah, I've kind of got to put the got to, got to put got to get the power down uh, early because uh, oh, as you saw that Amy made it with a pristine Piccolina at the bottom there. Lombos was in very good shape as well. Oh, mine actually landed. Oh, haha! <laughs> I technically beat Lado. I didn't realise I wasn't paying any attention because I was watching the race, but my car has rolled further than Lado's. Therefore, ha! We we are presuming it was Lado that hit us because I don't actually know. It could have been anyone. It could have been... Could have been Lado. Could have been... It was Brazen behind us beforehand, but... I don't know whether they swapped places. Um, Amy is now climbing back up the hill with their car. Which is honestly actually quite impressive. We will reset at the top. Oh dear. And we will get ready for the next round. Now... For our next one, this is going to be for false program. Uh, we're going to use off-road vehicles for this. It has to be a full off-road oriented vehicle. So hopper, roamer, uh, off-road spec stuff. We will say no to the Stambeco or the trophy truck by virtue of their tendency to have frame drops for everyone. I'm going to go with the Legroma. Uh, we're going to go for the V8, I think. That seems like a reasonable idea uh, for this. Uh, I should get a clutch pedal assigned. I just haven't got around to it. Uh, but yeah, clutch idea, clutch would be a good idea because you can just hold it in when you start getting to the limit while still being able to accelerate away early on. Uh, so the, the plus point with the off-roaders is that they are going to be able to deal with impacts on jumps quite well. The downside of the off-roaders is they're more likely to fall over, and if they do roll with this ride height, with these exposed wheels, they're probably going to shed wheels. <laughs> like, it is just quite likely that they will shed wheels. Can this climb over Piccolina? No. Actually, if I'd locked the diffs, it might have been able to. But... Yeah. <laughs> so we do have the, do have the option two lock diffs could could and probably will come in very handy later on. Uh, Amy has got like a lifted 800 series. Me and Lado have got the silly mod vehicle. Don't know whether Lado will. I think Lado might have the diesel one. Possibly. 
Yes, we shall find out as we send these vehicles down the down the hill. Uh, I do I do worry about my wheels. I do worry about my wheels pinging off. That is uh, a, a very serious concern. Oh, hey, ladder. Uh, <laughs> Daniel, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying both cults win. Oh, they do! No, well, yeah. Yeah, that works. That works indeed. The cult of 69 and the cult of 1P uh, are currently leading the donation bar. <laughs> oh, it didn't fall down the hill as well as I hoped. Well, that's honestly a bit disappointing. I was I was hoping to see Lado tumble down the hill. And I am sad that it did not work. I mean, we rolled it over and it stayed on its roof, which is a plus point. However, the fact that it didn't just sort of slowly slide down the hill does make me sad. I mean, Rusky is technically, you know, that's technically an off-roader, I guess. No. <laughs> I wanted to drive over the widget. It is going to be the difficult thing, is if I see a widgeon, I am going to want to crash into it. And we've all got these big lifted trucks. It's going to be really hard not to crash into the widgeon whenever the chance arises. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> the widgeon has caused two of the massive off-roaders to fall over. <laughs> Oh, and we have been righted. Good stuff. Uh, I'm going over this way now. Oh, Rusky's going to have a tough time in this, I think. If the Widgeon somehow makes it to the bottom without being crashed in two, I will be astonished. Because uh, sadly, it's going to be way too tough. Like, all of the, the rest of us, if we make contact with another one of the big off-roaders, it's going to damage both of us. We are going to suspect we could get away with have actually completely disintegrated that poor widget. Uh, it's <laughs> it is in pieces. Uh, and stuck on the train line currently. Yeah, it's going to end up being a game of punt the widget. Uh, Longbow has got the Grand Marshal. Uh, do you really want to play this game? I mean, it's, it's more just an annoyance. Oh. I guess it gets kind of stuck under there. I'm going to reset. Uh, right. Shall we get everybody ready to go here? Let's see what happens. I would say place your bets. I honestly have no idea what's going to come out on top here. Uh, Grand Marshal could be quite good. The 800 series could be quite good. Uh, we are going to launch ourselves forwards, and it is Amy off to the lead of the race. Uh, he's immediately going to go over the bump. That doesn't really do very much to that. So we have little in the way of top speed. I'm not surprised by that. I am slightly worried about my very floaty handling. Oh, God, it's really floaty. Well, that's, I think, the end of me. No, even if I land, I don't think I have any steering left. I might still have steering. Might have had steering. No, but I don't have steering left anymore. Uh, <laughs> that's... It's so floaty on the old steering front. Amy's done a front flip and is still flipping. Brazen's lost a wheel. Okay, we're going to have to be a little bit more careful with the Lagroba. Oh, that's a big hit. Both cars having a horrible time. Uh, no one's in good shape here, really. We just ha we just chose to have a crash earlier than everyone else. Amy's on the train line and I think stuck and out of it. Brazen is still tumbling, and if that somehow lands on its wheels, I doubt it's going to be drivable. Uh, you never know. Nope, Brazen's out of drive shaft. Speed Beast is in a forest. Amy is on a train line and reversing is somehow okay. Rusky's parked there. Longbow's parked there. Lado's... I don't even know what's going on with Lado's car. 
What has happened to that? I... Many questions are occurring. Many questions are occurring. Amy's got stuck. I mean, unless Lado's Beyblade is somehow able to make it further than Brazen, I, th I think Brazen is going to win. I... <sighs> How? What? How? I'm not even sure quite how the this is doing what it's doing. <laughs> Surely it's going to have a problem at some point with this. Um, I I don't quite understand how it's doing. It's obviously able to put some power down in such a way that it's. Uh, Still, I guess maybe it's only putting power through one side. It does look like, unfortunately, it's heading towards the pit, and all it can do is spin in a circle. Oh no, no, it might get away and avoid the pit. Nope, it's in the pit. I think that's the end of ladder. <laughs> no, what? How has that got out of the pit? Oh, it's fallen over. Nope, it's back on its wheels again. <laughs> How? How has that happened? What? If Lado wins this, Lado can legit win this with bloody Hypno Disc at the moment. It's got to get over. It's got to get over the checkerboard, which I am worried is just going to tear off the wheels. It has got. If it clears the checkerboard. It could legit win this. Oh, it's got to get past this flat bit as well. It's got stuck next to Amy. Come on, Lado. I'm kind of cheering Lado on now. Oh, no. It's, oh, no. Is it moving? All it can do is going a circle. But when it's downhill, that circle propels it forward. And it's over the... So it's, we are continuing to go. Can Lado... <laughs> can Lado's... Silliest hypno disc impression. Clear the checkerboard, or will it tear itself apart? On this, this is a really bad obstacle for the flailing Lagroma. It's it is doing it, kind of, kind of getting there. It's yeah, it's over s most of them at this rate, and I can't believe we're going to say it. Oh, it's got free. It stopped spinning. Lado is victorious. <laughs> Unbelievably, whatever happens now, Lado is victorious. Lado has found a train line and it has got back going again. I, I <laughs> it's actually pointing the right way. Can it? Oh, it might be dead. It might be dead. <laughs> Lado wins regardless. What a run. What a comeback. That is, of all of the downhill survivals we have ever done, that is the dumbest victory we've ever seen. But it is a victory. It doesn't matter how you win. A win is a win. And Lado will claim it. God damn it. Well done, Lado. Well done, Lado. <laughs> Oh, we have got to do better. Uh, we have got to do better there. Um, yeah, <sighs> can't believe the uh, the hypno <laughs> Lado is dizzy. I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, I think Lado needs to lie down now. <laughs> oh, it was a great run. It was a great run, and Brazen's got an eaten a widgeon. Oh, Brazen, that's. Not what you needed. <laughs> oh, we've had some spectacular runs today. I mean, we always do whenever we do this. Uh, Lado's, Lado's Hypnodisc win is definitely up there. Longbow's truck with a gearbox pointing vertically at the sky. That was quite impressive. Um, but yeah. Oh, let's go try again, shall we? Let's see what might happen in this one. 
We are going to try and make it to the bottom in one piece for this time. Oh, I did miss a uh, a very big super chat. Uh, thank you very much. Sorry, I will. I just realised it came in. I guess while I was watching Lado spin around like a lunatic, uh, I shall oh, read those at the end of this run. I am. Oh God, the handling. I do not like the handling on this. It is. It's just a suggestion of what the vehicle may do. Uh, I'm going to really struggle. Oh, brakes are quite powerful. I'm hoping the suspension's good. No, not good enough. I mean, Amy's had an absolutely horrific shunt. Brazen's over and out. I... Care, with... We have, much like our Piccolina crash, we've ground to a halt. Do I have any steering left? Very minimal. It seems like this off-roader round has just resorted to carnage. Longbow's in a tree. Brazen and Lado are down the bottom, but how good a condition are their vehicles in? Uh, Amy got killed by Lado. None of them. No one's vehicles are in good condition here is basically what we're learning. Don't go in the pit! No. Don't. Whoa. Lado, Lado is not spinning to win this time. Oh, crap. We are... It's not quite as spectacular as Lado's, but we are a little bit on the old... We're more kind of seesawing for the win. I don't want to have to resort to the spinning around in a circle technique, but I don't really steer left very well. Speed Beast is disintegrated. Brazen is going to be parked in almost the same place and watch almost the same thing happen again. <laughs> oh, no. I, I would say I'm sorry, Brazen, but honestly, I am not. This time, it's going to be a different Legroma that is going... <laughs> oh, no. Rusky's turned up. I don't have the steering to fight. I can't fight it. Rusky may legit win. Oh, no. Well, Rusky's absolutely impaled the widget over there. It's now become a battle between me and Rusky to get to the bottom. I just assumed that was out. The Groma stopped visiting a tree. Uh, no. Rusky's going to actually win it. No. <laughs> I've got no steering. It's... I just can't... This is me full left lock. And I can't do it. Brazen's got beaten by a, a Lagroma again after being parked. But we all get beaten by Rusky, who claims victory in the Widgeon. All it had to do was survive, and it did. <laughs> it almost wrecked it at the end. I had no steering in that. I physically can't turn left. Well done, Rusky. That was, a, that was well played. That was well played. I had just thought it was out of the uh, running, but it turned up nicely done. So Lado's hypno discs uh, his way to victory in round one round. Rusky's got a witching to make it in a round of off-roaders. <laughs> and well, you know what? I've now got more steering than I had before. <laughs> if I put my front wheels on Rusky's widget, I have better steering than I did have. Uh, <laughs> uh, amazing. <laughs> Let's go back to the top. Oh, dear. This has been very silly. <laughs> uh, all right, sorry, I just scrolled it back. Uh, uh, Svensson, Svensson, thank you very much indeed for an incredibly generous super chat. Um, so don't worry about the wheels you have four. Well, I, I have four most of the time. Although, all four, some of the times... The, the, the important ones at the front don't steer. Uh, the the Legroma has very delicate front wheels. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to lose them at some point. Uh, uh, Bjork, thank you for the super chat saying Lado is now forever remembered as Beyblade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> also, Bjork saying Lado, uh, thank you for the super chat saying Lado, uh, Fidget Spinosaurus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good sum up. These Legromas are not very good, but they sure do make things entertaining. Uh, also, Lato, thank you for the uh, for the super chat saying Beyblade or Cannon Run, which is more iconic. Ooh. 
Uh, you know, I think the Payblade run. I think the cannon. So one of the runs, Lado got a cannon down to the bottom of not this, not this map, a different downhill survival map. Um, I, I think the Payblade wins slightly, but um, yeah, they are both very iconic survive survival rounds. But yeah, I do think the Payblade is is my new favourite. Just because you fell in the pit, you climbed out of the pit, and somehow that was still going. I don't know how. Uh, Copperhead, thank you very much for the uh, super chat. So I've been watching your channel uh, for a year, and I can't wait to see what shenanigans you get uh, into on GTA 6. I am very much looking forward to it as well. Uh, and you should check out uh, Pacific Drive. I have it on my uh, wish list, or whatever. As soon as, that, as soon as I can play that game, I'm wanting to play that game. It looks really, really good. Uh, so, yeah, I, I cannot wait to... To have a go with with that. Uh, also, false program. Thank you for the nation. Saying this is everything I hoped for. <laughs> uh, P.S. If I'm destroying one cult, I may as well destroy two. Indeed, you did. Indeed, you successfully destroyed two cults in one go. Nicely done. Ah, oh, yeah. This has been a wonderful round of uh, off-road mayhem. Let's see what happens this time. I should have locked my diffs up. Maybe that would have helped, or maybe not. Honestly, don't know. Uh, I think Speedbeats might have decided that Rusky's not winning another round. Eh, that's fair. I think, honestly, at this point... Oh, Amy's about to have a big crash. Longbow is having an accident. Oh, crap. I am worried about a murder from a Lado. I'm going to try a different tactic here. Amy's out. Amy's gone. No one's really surviving at the moment, so my goal is just to slow it down in this. It's not The suspension on this is not as strong as you want it to be, so I'm going to take things a little bit easy. I've just seen debris flying around up in front, which I'm hoping is from Brazen. Uh, we are just going to get on this centre platform. The steering is so floaty on this, I really don't like it. Uh-oh. Never mind. Slow and steady hasn't worked. I still got steering though. I think Brazen's visiting some trees. I mean, the real question is is Lado's vehicle in one piece? Brazen's out, I think. My brakes are actually failing on us. If Lado's in one piece, Lado's going to win it, and I can't really do anything about it um, at this point. Lado has made it to the bottom, but the question is is Lado in a vehicle that functions? We are going to overtake Brazen. And we are in a fully operational car. Brazen's in the trees. Lado is going to win it. Lado's got a working vehicle. Something... Oh, someone's game has disintegrated all of ours. I have no... Yeah, something's broken. I've got no control over my car anymore. Thank you, game. We would have been fine. We were a fully functioning Lagroma at the end. But we've got to control R our way out of that one. Lado is victorious. Lagroma's a 1-2. Brazen... Is in a grandstand? I'm not quite sure. Some things have gone broken on this, basically. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say Lado was victorious in that one, for sure, as Lado had made it down safely before the game broke. We made it down safely, and then the game broke. Um, Amy, we saw they got launched early. That's had a big crash. The Grand Marshal has lost its rear axle. I don't know what crash broke the game. Possibly something to do with these two. I'm not sure. I'm going to guess possibly. Uh, judging by what's happening there, I'm going to say it's quite likely. So it's first for Lado, second for me. Brazen, I'm not sure what condition that's in. Well, we saw that that was a mess and now it's fixed. So I'm going to be quizzical on that. However, the Legromas came good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they almost won all three rounds, to be fair. Um, indeed, the Legron estate is Lado's superpower. Right there. Oh, bloody hell. <sighs> what a silly round. A good fun round. A good fun round indeed. Uh, but a very silly round as well. Uh, I, I had fun. I had fun with that. Um, uh, Amy has got to head off. Thank you for, uh, as ever, for hosting the server and all that. Server will stay up, do not worry.
But uh, yeah, thank you. Always a big thank you to Amy for uh, for running the server and making everything work. Uh, we are going to move on to our next round. That is going to be for uh, Shady Ferret was asking for a minimum of six tires. Okay, okay. So you must have. We'll go for six. Yeah, six six wheels, six tires. We're gonna going to use this course over here. Uh, we are going to move to the lava run. Just because we did kind of large vehicles a little bit on that previous one. So we're going to move over here for a little bit of change of scenery. Um, now, six wheels. You can get away. You'll get away with Julie's. Julie's will count. Uh, does the bus... That is the question. Does the bus have Julie's at the back? Let's have a look, shall we? It does! Okay! I'm going to go for a bus with a big engine. Whether that's a good idea or not, I have no idea. Uh, but we're going to go for an ultra heavy duty long box, and I'm going to try and put a big supercharger on it. Uh, sport ECU, of course. Now, I don't know whether this is a good idea, because fast is good, but fast is also potential for a massive accident. And I should probably put in the ultra-high performance radiator, because, I mean, it's only 700 horsepower, but still. Uh... <laughs> Oh, listen. It's not quite as good as the Bastion, but I'll go find Brazen and annoy Brazen. Uh, <laughs> that's just the goal now of the Supercharged. Just let's annoy Brazen, really. Um, uh, Michael, uh, thank you very much for the incredibly generous Super Chat. I say I'm very happy to catch a stream right before I go on deployment. I can have lots of videos to catch up on uh, when I get back. Indeed. Uh, there will be there will be plenty of uh, of fail race content for you. I hope all goes well with uh, with that. Um, I hope you enjoy this evening's shenanigans. Lombo, can that get six wheels? Can you get Julie's on a pigeon? I'm not sure. Although we are still trying to load in. Oh, Lombo's gone through many different cars. Uh, where is Brazen? Come here, Brazen. <laughs> It's not... It's not the best. It's not as good as I wanted. Supercharger. Alright, that's got to go. I don't want traction control. I want to be able to do donuts in my bus whenever I want. And I do want to be able to take out Lado's caravan. <laughs> I feel like drift tapping a caravan, always a good option. Oh, yeah, maybe brakes, not a bad shout, actually. Thank you, chat. Probably race brakes is a good thing to put on the bus. Uh, so, Lado has hit the technically six-wheel uh, rules. We have always allowed, if you, if you tow a... Um, Caravan, that will count as, you know, six wheels. Uh, caravan is... Oh, I can't get racing brakes on the back. Well, that's going to have to do. Uh... <laughs> Wait, Rusky has impaled the bus. Well, now it's my turn to be Spinny Blade. Bay Blade can't speak. Uh... All right, let's go and load this. Let's go and, and see what's happening here. So we have the Julies. Brazen has Julies. Longbow has put Julies on a drag aroma. I like the, I like the thinking. Fun choice. Uh, as I said, no rules against stuff like that. I'm going to guess Speed Beast has probably put the Julies on the mystery machine. Not that I can really see at the moment. <laughs> Just going to go round in a circle in front of everybody. Uh... I mean, if... I, I, to be fair, Lado, I think if you manage to 
lose the caravan. It's to have the caravan ripped off, it would be such a violent crash most of the time that it's normally fair if you make it to the finish line without the caravan. But you've got to you've got to start with the caravan connected. You've got to set off with the caravan connected. You can't detach it at any point. But if it comes off naturally, then you are fine to sort of just make it to the finish line with whatever happens. I think there's the rules we have uh, played with in the past uh, when it comes to this. Um, but normally a crash in which the caravan gets pulled off is probably going to do something bad anyway. So, yeah, there there is that. So, we've got Rusky with a ramp truck. Lombo with the drag racing. Uh, Roma. Brazen with what was an ambulance. It's now the it's now the brazen and brazen ambulance. I'm trying to think of a way to combine it, but I, I genuinely don't know what to call that. Uh, <laughs> we've got me with an excited supercharged bus and ladder with a caravan on a Mirama. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh, wonderful folks of chat. We are about to launch a selection of very silly vehicles uh, down here. I mean, we have legit got some speed in the bus. Now, this route here is quite dangerous. You've got a few options of where to go. Uh, you will need some speed. You will need to, to make some jumps at times down here. Uh, we are going quite quickly. We are at 120 miles an hour in a bus. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Hello, Longbow. Sorry, Longbow. Longbow's minus a wheel. Brazen's going across the bridge. Uh... <laughs> Now, Brazen has got to not crack. If you can make it across the bridge, well done. It is dangerous to go across there. You do avoid this bit. Tell you what, nicely done, Brazen, to make it, although Brazen has fallen over. Oh, we're about to hit this jump. Are we going quick enough? We do. We clear the lava. We have ruptured a fuel tank. Oh, it's gone wrong for us. We have nearly de be been debussed. Oh, someone's going to fall in the... No, no, no one's falling in the... We, we are a little bit on fire because our fuel tank's gone. Our rear axle... Oh, the game's broken again. It's not going to matter. We are actually going to make it anyway across the... Light. So we make it even with a game break in there. I don't know what caused the unstable game break. Uh, Rusky's having problems. I think a lot of things have gone wrong in this. Yeah. Things are broken. Don't quite know why. We did make it. I think we're going to rerun that because the game dis disintegrated at the end. Um, uh, <laughs> I took off one of Longbow's rear wheels and then the other just, yeah, fell apart on that, which is not what you need in the slightest. Uh, sorry, Longbow. I knew there was a pit coming up and I wasn't sure where to go to avoid it. And then as we were bouncing around, the Longbow appeared and yeah, that's a problem. Uh, Shady Brady, thank you for the uh, donation. Uh, by the way, saying one pound equals Lado into a wall. Ah, oh, is that is that, is that the cost? That's the currency. That's how much it takes to uh, put Lado in a wall. Uh, Bjorg, thank you for the uh, super chat as well. Uh, saying <laughs> uh, Lado spin Doctorosaurus. <laughs> that also works. That also works. Um, right, what have we got going on here? Lado's. I think it, Lado's game is slightly broken. It's just a weird... Hold on. <laughs> I am being a child. I feel like if you could do this right, you could make the Doctor Who theme tune going on with Lado's weird car sounds occurring. Ugh. But there we go. So yeah, Lado's got to go and reset the mess <laughs> that cause. Uh, if we get... I think, actually, we might struggle to put Lado in a wall because we have actually got quite a lot of speed in this. Uh, so we will potentially just out-accelerate it. However, if there is a chance to put a Lado in a wall, we will inevitably, inevitably take it. Ah, uh, right. Let's go and reload that, so I will give some space to Lado. Oh, Lado, I, okay, Lado's crashed. 
Okay. Uh, we will get a round done while Lado gets rejoined, just so we're not waiting forever. Brazen can can chuck their vehicle around if uh, <laughs> if they want. Hopefully, we will get Lado back connected. Here we go. In two. I say into the unknown we head. We know we've... I, look, I'm happy to just go for it. No one else is actually wanting to go for it. The, the first part of this... I'm surprised. The first part of this run is pretty straightforward. Uh, uh oh. I say that as I am bouncing around uncontrollably. Uh, Speedbee sends it over the pit. I mean, these vehicles are very quick. I think Lombo's having potentially some issues. Is Speedbee even going to survive that? I'm going to guess no, as a wheel's just been thrown at me, and I see more debris coming off of the speed beast. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh, I don't want to hit that, because that could break me. We should at least get to the jump. No, don't debus yourself. Everything is fine. We're a little bit awkward on the landing there. But I think it's going to make it. Rusky made it across the jump as well. That's actually quite impressive. Oh, we can just sort of ease ourselves across the line, really. We almost... There we go. We are across the line. We are finished. Some celebratory spins for the bus there. <laughs> that world's happiest supercharged bus. This is actually pretty good down here. A couple of points it gets a bit sketchy, but on the most part, it's just just good. Oh, Rusky's broken down. So Rusky's broken down. Speedbee's had an epic crash off of the bridge. Brazen had an epic crash on the... Oh, Brazen, I'm going to ask a silly question. Oh, never mind. Found the answer. I was wondering where your cab ended up, but it's over there. Quite impressive the back of the truck actually stayed on there. Oh, and Lombo's now finally got going. Can Lombo make it? I mean, Lombo can technically still get second place here. If can gather it all back up. Get over the lava pit. Oh. <laughs> Land on the wheels. Oh, my. Oh, can it still drive? Can it overtake Rusky? Well, it ha even if it can't drive, it's second place for Lombo. <laughs> It'll work. It'll do. Lombo will cross the will will get second and by the looks of it is gonna make it across the line. It was a good attempt. The bus is, is seriously good though for this. And Bomp. <laughs> there we go. We will take first. Lombo is second and Rusky will have to settle for third. Uh, <laughs> the the bulence, I like it. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely a thing right there. Um, I think we should have a Lado potentially back in this one. Uh, Dracos, thank you very much for the donation, by the way. Uh, saying, did you hear about the yoga class for electric cars? Uh, they just park in circle and say ohm the whole time. I'm going to give you a boo. Uh, <laughs> from chat and indeed from me, you are getting a boo. Uh, keep up the great work, Faris team. Already excited for the next Survive the Hunt. Ah, well, I'm always glad to hear uh, people looking forward to that. It should be good. Uh, you know, fingers crossed and all that. Always, always hope that uh, they're, they're going to be good. Uh, we're going to get ourselves parked. Maybe we can get Lado's caravan shenanigans. Uh, spawned in, maybe, hopefully. Or the game, my game might crash. Uh, here we go. Right. Okay. Ah, oh, that has gone for a different route. Okay. It does count. It does count. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> uh, six shooter, thank you very much for the donation. I'm saying fair race and a triple meat pizza. Uh, <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Also, bum. Of course, someone had to do it. Someone had to put bum in the donation message as well. It sounds like you've got a good dinner. It sounds like you have got a good dinner indeed. You cannot go wrong with pizza. Triple meat pizza sounds like my sort of pizza. Not gonna lie. Uh, I think we are ready for 
round. Well, we'll go for round two because technically the first round was a little bit broken. I think we're all good. Let's fire them up. Uh, Lomba had some game issues. Uh, that was why I was so slow setting off. But I mean, it still, it still made it, uh, which is something. Here we go. We are off and underway. So Lado's crazy contraption is going to go ahead. Now Lomba's unlike uh, Lomba's got lots more speed than I do. The question is, oh crap, I've moved across too soon. Lado's gone through the pit. Lado's having an accident. Because uh, you want to get... Oh, Lado's going in the lava. Don't go in the lava. Oh, Lado's got away with that. Uh, Lombo's going across that jump. Oh, Speed Beast has turned up and has put Lombo round. And I don't want to make contact with that if I can help it. We avoid the spinning Lombo. The brazen... Be the braze balance is there. Speed Beast is disintegrated. No, we've been debussed. Actually, no, we've been just outright murdered. <laughs> I should have killed Brazer when I had the chance. <laughs> oh, no. Brazen is across the... Oh, no, Brazen's across the lava, but unless that lands on its wheels, it, which it has. Damn it. I thought that was going to be out. No. We got murdered. Longbow's actually made it across. Well done, Longbow. Making it across there. Brazen is going to cross the finish line. Uh... <laughs> And it will be victory for the uh, the Brazebulance. There it is. It is across the line. Longbow took a pretty big hit, but uh, is going to make it. We were doing well. When I had the opportunity, I should have pushed Brazen into the wall. Rusky's just bent the nose on that. <laughs> it's going to make it, though. Fair play. <laughs> Fair play. It is across the line. Lado is down and out. Speed Beast is wedged under the bridge. I mean, Speed Beast's crash was epic. Then, to be fair, my shunt is, was quite good as well. <laughs> it was a very... <laughs> uh, it, it was a very successful kill. Just about everything on my vehicle that could be broken is broken. So, yeah, there is that. Well done, Brazen, for taking victory, even if he did murder me. Lombo is second, and Rusky is third. We are going to reset. Uh, Scout, thank you very much for the uh, the super chat uh, saying go over the bridge. Oh, God. Uh, I do not have much luck going over the bridge, but we shall give it a try. I am expecting death. So far, no one has won or survived even going over the bridge. But I'll try it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I don't hold out a great amount of hope, but I shall give it a good sh a good try, um, and we will see what happens. Right. Uh, it doesn't really matter because we're all going to get funneled across to that side anyway. Um, see, it doesn't really matter where we start. So, oh, trade is slightly on fire. That's probably not what we want. We will load some changes. We will. Reset ourselves, actually, just to make sure. Lado, you may want to reload your trailer, because I, th I think the trailer fell in the lava. Uh, okay, yeah, Lado has reset it. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, okay. Here we go. We're going to try the bridge. The bus is actually probably one of the stronger contenders here, uh, in that it actually survives the, the demands of this course pretty well. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's not bad going. Um, can I... Oh, I was trying to use the plow. I was, I, I was trying to use Rusky's ramp truck to launch Brazen, but it didn't really work. Uh, unfortunately, it was worth a go. Now, I think if we're going to take the bridge, I think we have to go very fast over it. I could be wrong. I, ju I don't know what speed is required to go over the bridge. Oh, crap. The last thing I want is debris in front of us, but there's going up. Uh, there's going to be a lado in front of us. Uh oh. Oh, we have been debussed. <laughs> we might have, we might have had a small bit of murder. Oh, hello, Rusky. <laughs> we have, we, well, we have been catapulted forward. I was going to go see who had won. We very much got debussed. Uh, no one has won yet. It's going to be brazen. Lombo's stuck in a gutter. Speed Beast is broken and minus wheels. 
Brazen is going to claim a victory here. And does. Longbow is wedged in that uh, that gutter, but Longbow is across the line in second, and no one else is moving at this point. Nope. Uh, Rusky is down there. That Well, that's our frame. That's Rusky's frame. That's a bit of Rusky's truck. Uh, there's... I think that's Rusky's engine? Rusky, is that yours, or is that mine? No, but my engine's in my vehicle, isn't it? Yep, my engine's still on mine. That's fine. Okay, we found Rusky's engine. There's the bus. <laughs> the bridge is dangerous. <laughs> there's a bit of me. <laughs> Where did Lado end up? You want to see Lado? Oh, there's Lado. <laughs> I mean, we hit Lado pretty hard as well. Um, yeah. Bridge is dangerous. I'm just going to put it out there. The bridge is really dangerous and really difficult to survive on. That is, yeah, that is the end of that. That was a hell of a crash. But, uh, yeah, we ended up over here. What a manic run. Oh, that's that's what first person camera looks like. Hold on. I'm not even sure how the camera is at this angle. That's the steering wheel. Yeah. Ouch. Ouch indeed. <laughs> oh, well, that was highly entertaining. Where did we, what did we get to? Um, right, sorry, I am just flicking through to see, to see what we might have in terms of the final class for us to be... Uh, running through here. Did I miss anything? I think I did miss something. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, hold on. I'm just bear with. I'm getting slightly confused by YouTube. Uh, sorry. The try to find older super chats is not always the easiest of things. Just give me a second while I figure out. There's just a demo derby going on in the background. Don't mind that just don't worry about that it's it's all doing it's all doing its thing um uh, do, 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 do. uh what have we got uh right i think we haven't done so it's going to be a d series with any configuration but on tiny wheels uh, <laughs> that's going to be fantastic fun. So, you can run any spec of D-Series you like, but it must be on the smallest wheels that the D-Series can get. That does actually throw up some interesting thing, because what do you want to you? What spec do I want? I think you're going to want ground clearance, because the small wheels are going to just drop it down. Let's try. D25. I don't think I want a long wheelbase. I feel like that's going to cause a lot of problems. I think you want the smallest wheelbase as possible. And decent ride height. So this It's just a little bit of a faff while we get uh, everything sorted. But, oh, okay, we can't actually have... The hell are those wheels? Oh, okay, it's not actually... I thought that was going to be a lot bigger than that was. Uh, oh, they're not actually going to be particularly... Tiny. I was hoping for really tiny wheels. Uh, ah, because we might need to put it on the five lug hubs. Then we should. That's more like it. Should have many options. I'm just wanting comically. That's that's what we were looking for. Comically tiny wheels. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't. We don't have the adapter mod or anything like that. Um, 
unfortunately. So, we are just going to go for comically tiny wheels on my truck. There we go. I have a feeling I know what's likely to happen. And it's going to be a lot of broken stuff. But yeah, <laughs> I don't think these trucks are going to enjoy this somehow. I, I suspect they are going to fall apart. But that's what we've all come to see. So, you know, there is that. Hello, Brazen. You also have the tiny wheels. <laughs> so Brazen is quite slammed uh, to the ground. While everyone gets loaded, can we put... I don't actually know if I want... Brazen has all of the turbo noises. I might join in with the fun. I'm going to join in the fun of many, many turbo noises. I'm putting the ultra heavy duty because I don't want. The, okay, so stage three variable boost uh, does 400. I don't know what early turbocharger or late turbocharger means. Uh, early turbocharger is no power. Late turbocharger is some power. What does a stage two turbocharger give us? Okay, not as much as very. I, I, I'm gonna guess. I wants to do adjustable race ECU. Yep, yeah, let's do that. And then I probably not. I don't care about brakes because uh, we're not really gonna be slowing down. <laughs> let's put that in. Uh, and then, I mean, can I... Uh, turbo boost pressure. <laughs> there's, there's the plan, 75 PSI. Apply. That's what we want. So, we are now making 600 horsepower. Do I have... Oh, I need a diesel, I need a fuel tank. I need a tank of diesel, not petrol. Uh, right, diesel fuel tank is in. Okay. Yes, we have the turbos. We have the crazy turbo sounds that we were looking for. Wonderful. 600 horsepower on the smallest wheels possible. About to go down. A destruction. Oh, Speed Beast has got even tinier wheels. I am very impressed. <laughs> now that's that's good. I like that. <laughs> Speed Beast wins on we've all. Most of us are on the same kind of wheels. Uh, apart from Speed Beast has found some smaller ones. I don't quite know how. I don't quite know how it works. Um, however, we shall get this collection of wacky vehicles heading down the course. <laughs> uh, we are off and underway. I'm slightly worried about the gearbox. I should probably have done something about that, but never mind. Should I actually I might have to put like the drag racing gearbox in this for future. But never you know, never mind. Speed Beast has sent it and had a tremendous accident already. Brazen's going for a jump. I'm not really sure how this vehicle is going to deal with jumps, which is why I didn't want to do it. Uh, and Bra we are kind of stuck at 100. Yeah, we're going to have to go for like a drag racing gearbox, I think, for future Brazen's had a massive accident. Maybe it's got away with it. Uh... Okay, we were not quite as clear of that as I thought we were going to be. We've hit that quite hard. I am struggling with the steering related issues. Uh, we're going to launch it across here. Longbow's struggling for steering. Longbow's in the lava. Uh, Longbow has gone. Oh, the map has been updated as well. So if you fall in the lava, it doesn't set everyone on fire, which is awesome uh, to see. We are going to come home in third, despite severe limitations on our speed. That's fine. We can fix that for next time. It's going to be a podium spot. That's something, at least. Actually, quite a good shot, considering Speed Beast had 
a crazy accident. That did quite well to make it. There is more turbo noise than engine noise for me. Lado is going to cross the finish line. Slightly wrecked. But Lado will make it, and I'm sure he's going to crash into me. Uh, actually not. I'm impressed. Lombo is at the bottom of a lava pit. And Rusky... Uh, Rusky tries to take the bridge. Is in one piece. Which is surprising, but is out by the looks of it. So... <laughs> There we go. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, okay. Gear. Oh, it's not called that on here, is it? It's called transmission. Uh, we want uh, drag four speed. Because that goes... That will have way more top speed than the other options. So, fantastic. That will work. Okay. Brazen is the one to beat at the moment. Uh, we did see some pretty big shunts along the way in that, but quite a, quite a good number of vehicles actually made it to the bottom there. We should have considerably better performance this time around. Uh, actually, yeah, we're going to lock the rear diff. Might as well. Uh, I think we're ready. I don't know if Sweet Beast is ready. I'm going to go with a yes on that one. Oh, Longbow's just sorting something out. That's fine. Okay. Let us set this up. Let's get this uh, get this ready. Here we go. We are off. We are underway once more. Speed Beast leads away. Longbow is second. There's just much turbo noise going on uh, for us. I think maybe even with uh, even with the drag racing gearbox, it's not good enough. For us, we might have to go really crazy on the gear ratios or something. It's not good enough. Yeah, it's just not going to work for us. Right, we're going to have to get... I mean, I'm going to take this route just to see what happens. See if it's possible. I mean, at this speed, we might be the first person to actually make it over the bridge. Which is something because we were stuck at about the 100 mile an hour mark. Speed Beast has fallen in the pit. Here comes Lado. And we will jump this. And like, I honestly thought that gearbox would be fine. It was not. Lado's fallen over. Rusky's fallen over. Oh, Longbow is desperately unlucky. I'm not helping you. <laughs> I'm not helping you. We will. Cross the line, and we will make it. I'll take a second. I will take a second place. That I am fine with. Um, Brazen looks pretty wrecked. Uh, it looks like Lado might have got that one going. Yeah. <laughs> and there we go. Lado will cross the line. Lado makes it to the finish with that. The bridge was successful. Rusky and Lombo. I don't know whether someone pushed... I guess someone pushed Lombo back onto their wheels. Rusky finishes. Lombo finishes. These aren't actually too terrible. Uh, all things considered. I mean, mine is admittedly a slight problem one in... I mean, all of these are a bit wacky with the gears. But, uh, yeah, this in particular is quite bad. Uh, I'm going to have to go... Uh, what can I put in? Because even if I put the gearbox, so I could. The drag racing gearbox is fine. Uh, do I want. Is that one I can change? Don't know. If I can change the diff gear ratio, that'd be fine. So the, the drag gearbox will have a gear ratio that's absolutely fine. Because the drag cars do 200 miles an hour. Uh, it's probably... I'll try the race gearbox. But the, normally... Uh, Four-wheel drive race transfer case. That should be good. I'll try this. I'm hoping I can change a final drive in the diff. Because that would really help if I could. 
Because uh, otherwise I've got to try and change these and I don't know what I want particularly. Yeah, I'm not going to mess about with that too much. I'm going to just hope that we can put that up, I guess, up to there. Oh, piss off game. <laughs> I wish it would automatically save. It's really frustrating because it's so easy to forget to bloody press apply on these. I don't know if that's going to work. We'll try it. We'll try it. I might still be a bit limited. Fingers crossed it will work. Um, let's see what happens. Here we go. Can we actually get in the fight this time around? Fingers crossed. We might stand a chance here. Uh, I'm going to guess we are still... Oh, Brazen tried that tunnel. That tunnel is a legit thing you can go through, but... Uh, you have got to get it perfect. Okay, the answer is, can we... Have we got much more drive and so on now yep we are definitely way more way more speedy in fact i'm doing 150 miles an hour and it's only going quicker speed beast is absolutely flying considering this is alarming speed in a truck like this and speed beast is still well out in front can we catch speed beast speed beast is having a tremendous accident speed beast is spun we are going to go soaring past. I mean, the sound from my truck is insane. It's just all turbo noise. I'm going to slam on the brakes so I don't hit the wall after the finish line. Because we have done it. It's all turbo. There's basically no engine in this. <laughs> but we might over rev the engine. Now, Lombo gets second. Speed Beast could only manage third in the end. Ow. Although, by the looks of it, that did more damage to Speed Beast than me. I'm fine. I mean, my truck's a little bit clonked, but I'm fine. Lado makes it in fourth. Uh, <laughs> oh. This this engine is so much turbo, I can't actually hear the revs, because all I hear is turbo noise. It's awesome. Well, it's not awesome. It's annoying to drive, but also kind of cool. Oh. Well, this was a very silly round. This was a very silly round indeed. And I love that this is somehow still fine. <laughs> I, mean, I say it's fine. Mostly fine, I think, is the best way to sum it up. But, uh... Oh. Well, there we go. There we go. That is going to be the end of a wonderful stream. It is going to be an end of a wonderful stream. I hope you have enjoyed. I've had a lot of fun. I mean, I always do have a lot of fun with this game. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope you have. Actually, well, before we do go, before we do go, one last thing that we were going to do. Uh, there is a... Uh, do any of these have... I don't think any of these have a ramp. So... The last thing we're going to do before we finish, before we leave, we are going to launch some vehicles. We're going to set up a little contest um, to see who can launch. This is the ramp we're going to use. You can use any vehicle you want. We're going to hit this ramp and see who can get the furthest. Uh, it will be from wherever the car rolls to, because we're never going to be able to track where they land, because they're going to smash into a million pieces on impact. Uh, it is completely free reign as to what you want to use. Uh, you are going to want as much acceleration as possible, but if you do not have enough ground clearance, you're going to lose a lot of momentum when you hit the jump. So, yeah. Uh, go for whatever you like. I don't know what I want. I, I am honestly kind of tempted to go for. Uh, I think this could do it. It's not going to be the most controlled and it won't have the most power, but it has got the suspension, so it's not going to lose too much speed when it hits the hits the ramp. Um, 
That's the hope. That's the theory behind this. Whether that's how it works or not is anyone's guess. We shall see. <laughs> you, see, you could go for a rocket bus, right? But the thing is, the rocket bus is going to disintegrate on the ramp. So... You're going to lose all of that speed is going to vanish when you hit the ramp. So I'm I'm going for I'm not going to hit the ramp as fast as some of the other vehicles here. Some of them are going to be going way quicker than I am. However, I am going to in theory, in theory transi transfer sorry as much speed into distance. That's the theory. It's a it's a It's a, a potentially a long shot. It's a different approach than some of the uh, other vehicles. But yeah, we will see what goes on. Uh, I think I think a couple of people have had to go. Uh, that's fine. Uh, never mind. We will launch whoever is left. Um, will launch some vehicles off of here. Right, so we got a drag hop. Drag hop are actually not a terrible shout. Um, Lombo with an interesting... Uh, I kind of like Lombo's idea, actually. That's interesting. It's also gone a little bit more along along my approach as well. And of course, not only have we got to get to the ramp, but we have also... Well, no, sorry, not only have we got to launch our vehicles off the ramp, but we have also got to get them to the ramp in one piece. So... <laughs> so... Yeah, you know, it's, it's no good... It's no good having an unbelievably good car for this and then missing the ramp altogether. It's not too bad to hit. Well, I say that. You've got to get through two dirt pits to get to it. So... Yeah. That's going to be an interesting one. Because if you go completely crazy for speeds, you may just miss the jump completely. So... Uh, yeah. That is not what you want. Ah, Spoopy, this game did uh, have a little bit of a death. Right, Spoopy is here. Has got okay. Spoopy going for a bolide. There's a as I said, there's a bunch of different approaches. Longbow, actually, we can have a look. We tab across. So Brazen has one thousand two hundred horsepower. Rusky has, I think, the same engine as me. Longbow has much less power. However, uh, <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh. It has got some good ride height. Speed Beast has astonishing amounts of power. But it's a bolide. It might disintegrate on the ramp. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Uh, Dire Wolf, thank you very much for the uh, super chat. Say the grand finale. May there be plenty of crashes and chaos. Oh, yes. There is going to be plenty of that. Uh, <laughs> we are about to launch some vehicles off of a huge ramp and see what is going to jump furthest. I, I suspect... I suspect if it doesn't completely fall apart, the uh, scintilla, I suspect Speedy's vehicle will. However, there are chances... You know, there's a good chance something's going to go wrong with it on the approach. We shall see. Right, we are going to get underway very shortly. Speed Beast, hurry up. Um, we are all we are all ready and waiting. I I'm gonna put a bet. I'm gonna put a bet that someone is going to crash and not make the jump right. Speed Beast is here. <laughs> Let's go. I'm actually going to hand back slightly off the start, uh, just so we get a bit more of a clear run. And we can kind of see what we're working with. Rusky's done a wheelie and had a big accident. Well, I did say that someone was going to crash before we even got to the jump, and I was not wrong. <laughs> okay, here we go. Brazen is going to be the first to hit it. And has... Oh, Brazen has hit it, but not very straight. Lombo has missed it. Uh, oh god, I am wandering something terrible. I did not get as much height as I wanted at all on that. 
Nah, Brazen has definitely beaten us. As we disintegrate ourselves. We just didn't, we didn't really have the control to line that up for the jump. I tried to put the power down, but uh, yeah, I just couldn't really get it to, uh, to be going there. I mean, we are still technically rolling. Uh, speed Beast is reset. Yeah, I mean, Bra <laughs> the rolling. No, nah, I, I would, I would say Brazen uh, absolutely beat us on that one. Uh, that's a, it's a difficult ramp to hit. Uh, I mean, you, yeah, Brazen got the distance. Speed Beast actually fell off the ramp slightly on approach. Um, that is a hell of a flight for a speed beast on the second attempt though uh oh there it is i'll go and land in the crater <laughs> oh it bounced out and has been cut in half <laughs> uh and off it goes yeah <laughs> oh we'll have another try because yeah <laughs> uh hey rod thank you for the donation it's like over five seconds i am a man of my word uh, <laughs> thank you very much um uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's good fun. This is actually not a very good ramp for trying to launch vehicles off of because the approach is so difficult and the angle so awkward. Uh, no, we, this just doesn't fly very well. It doesn't take this... Um, it's, to say that it's just not going quick enough. It's either not going quick enough on the takeoff um, or it's just not fast enough full stop. Because, yeah, we cannot match, I don't think, Brazen or Speed Beast for distance. Uh, or Brazen's disintegration on there. Um, it's quite impressive. Yeah, the drag hopper is not easy to do this with. Uh, we're not, this isn't the easiest thing. But anyway, anyway, yes, launching cards is always good fun in, uh, in this game, as you can imagine, we have had a lot of fun. We have had an awful lot of fun uh, with this uh, with this stream, with this session, with this wonderful map. I will put a link to it uh, in the. Well, if you're watching this as a VOD, there will hopefully be a link to the map in the description. I really do recommend you check it out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, there's many ways to destroy cars, many ways to launch cars, many ways to race in new and unusual oh. Oh, oh we're gonna miss the ramp that'll do it yeah we lost all of our speed on the ramp that time but uh yeah do check out this map it's awesome uh <laughs> that though is going to be it from me a very big thank you to everybody who has donated it is greatly greatly appreciated indeed uh, and of course a very big thank you uh, to all of you for watching for spending your friday evening afternoon or, or maybe Saturday morning depending on uh, where you might be in the world. I hope you've enjoyed some beam nonsense shall be it from me until next time a uh, goodbye <laughs>